Chapter 1521 The Divine Gate Star's Power Translator Born to be the Divine Gate shook, and light blossomed from the Divine Gate Star. A sacred pressure erupted. The Divine Gate Star seemed to have been provoked, and a ray of light shot out of it. That light was larger and fiercer than the Elder's light attack. The two light beams crashed together. Boom. The Elder's light beam exploded, while the Divine Gate Star's light continued onward charging out of Long Chen's mind C and at the Elder. It happened so suddenly that neither Long Chen nor the Elder could react. Boom. Divine light exploded. The middle-aged man's spiritual space and body were blown to pieces. At the same time as the middle-aged man died, in a mysterious residence an unknown distance away, an Elder coughed up a mouthful of blood and let out a mournful cry. This white-haired Elder was precisely the Elder with a crack on his forehead who attacked through space. He was holding his forehead. Blood was currently dripping from it. The heavenly eye I just condensed. Long Chen. I will kill you. Long Chen was currently stunned. Just now, things had happened so quickly that he still hadn't reacted. The elder's attack had actually ended up provoking the divine gate star. He felt a burst of lingering fear. Just now it had truly been dangerous. Although Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were present in his spiritual space. If they were the ones to block it, the attack would have exploded in his spiritual space, and he would have met the same ending as the middle-aged man. The Divine Gate Star's attack had also been a spiritual attack, instantly wiping the other side's attack out of existence and even counterattacking. Regretfully, without the middle-aged man's soul as an intermediary, there was no way for Long Chen to see what had happened to the Elder. If Long Chen knew that the Elder had been injured, he would definitely be smiling brightly. Heavenly Fate Island. I'll remember this enmity Long Chen took a deep breath. He waved his hand, and a wave of golden flames blew up, eliminating the bloody stench in the air. Long Chen put away his own flying boat and used the flying boat the other side had brought. He had his family enter it. His flying boat had the mark of Pill Valley. Although he had concealed it, it meant he couldn't use it as openly as this flying boat. This flying boat was a bit small and wasn't as fast as his. But to Ziaoyu, it was always new things that were best. Once they were on the flying boat, Long Chen didn't immediately speed off back to the central plains. Instead, he had to go deeper into the eastern wasteland. The first place he went to was the branch Zhuanshan Dao sect when he arrived. He saw that it was empty. All the people within had vanished. Even the monasteries and super monasteries had mostly been disbanded with only a few people left to look after them. Seeing this, Long Chen was at ease. He knew that Zheng Wenlong had arranged this to prevent him from worrying. Zheng Wenlong was truly dependable. In the end, Long Chen activated the flying boat's stealth ability and slowly flew over to the Phoenix Cry Empire. He had it float in the air above. The Phoenix Cry Empire was still flourishing. Under the rule of the former fourth prince, Chu Yao's little brother, the empire and its people were prospering. He was actually a formidable ruler. Long Chen's divine sense spread throughout the city. He saw Fatty Yu, Xiao Ho, Shai Feng, and the others. They were now in high positions. As for the border suppression Marquis's former land, it was extremely lively, with a flood of people coming and going. This place had been completely renovated and was extremely grand. There was a huge statue within the main mansion. It was of Long Xiangxiao. As the border suppression Marquis, Long Xiangxiao had become a hero of the empire. His loyalty to the common people and his defense of the empire had won him the entire empire's respect and gratitude. Seeing that statue, Long Xiangxiao couldn't help but sigh emotionally. Mrs. Long teared up from the sight, and Xiaoyu helped her wipe away her tears. Only after floating there for a while did Long Chen bring his family to the martial heaven sea ring. When they saw the endless sea, Xiaoyu cried out excitedly. Even Mrs. Long was shocked by the size of the sea. Their sadness caused by leaving their home was replaced by this novelty. Personally seeing all these new sights shocked them. The sight of the huge waves and buffeting winds was one that made humans feel minuscule. Xiaoyu was lying in the front of the flying boat and had the best view. Suddenly, a huge mouth devoured the flying boat. Ah! Uh, Long Chen pressed a button lightly, and a ray of light shot out of the flying boat, blowing a hole in the mouth that the flying boat continued through. 
Long Xiangxiao turned back just in time to see the strange fish. The fish's head was practically as large as a mountain, but it was killed in one attack from the flying boat. Wow, big brother, you're so powerful. Xiaoyu looked at Long Chen worshipfully. You can do the same. Come, I'll teach you how to control the flying boat. Long Chen beckoned. He truly did love her and wanted to pamper her. Long Chen, don't spoil her. How could a child control such a huge object? Said Mrs. Long worriedly. It's fine. In any case, it's free and I won't mind if it gets ruined. I have plenty of flying boats. Long Chen smiled. Mrs. Long shook her head helplessly. But as she watched Long Chen teach his sister which symbol was for attack, defense, charging forward, and dropping down, his sincere appearance elicited a gratified smile. Suddenly, under Xiaoyu's control, the flying boat tilted downward and smashed into the sea. It then bounced back up and then down again. Long Chen hastily reached out to help, allowing the flying boat to regain its balance in the air. Xiaoyu was pale with fright. It's fine. Making a mistake at the start is normal. You're a fast learner comforted Long Chen. Xiaoyu truly was smart. She remembered things very quickly. After two hours, thanks to Long Chen's teachings, Xiaoyu had basically learned how to control the flying boat. Whenever they encountered a sea demon, she would launch an attack and destroy it. That grand feeling was indescribable. The flying boat was filled with her excited cries, and the atmosphere was very lively. Long Chen was also very gratified. He knew that as long as she was happy, his parents would also be happy. Their mood depended on Xiaoyu. What they were worried about the most was that Xiaoyu would be unhappy about going to a new world. But now they found that she was practically a wild child and curious about everything. She had no fear of the unknown world. Dad, I've decided to change plans. Instead of the Huaian sect, I'm thinking of sending you to the Wine God Palace. Once the waves calm down, you can then go to the Huaian sect. What do you think about that? Asked Long Chen. The Wine God Palace? All right. I fully approve. Ah, do you think you could ask them if I could become a full member of the Wine God Palace? Long Xiangxiao immediately agreed. You wine addict, are you basing your decision on the right motives? Demanded Mrs. Long. Of course. I simply feel like I should go somewhere where I can make a living and create a home for us, away from trouble. Long Xiangxiao had a righteous expression, but neither Long Chen nor Mrs. Long believed it. Fine, I admit this decision might have been backed by the slightest of selfish motives, but just the slightest Long Chen laughed. Dad, you should give up on joining the Wine God Palace. Mom definitely won't accept it. The Wine God Palace would definitely accept you considering your understanding of the heavenly deos and wine. But the Wine God Palace's disciples must have no cares for the rest of the world, and must be fully immersed in the wine dao. They have to abandon everything other than wine. Can you do that? Definitely not. Fine. Just pretend I never said anything, said Long Xiangxiao disappointedly. Only then did Mrs. Long's expression improve slightly. She naturally didn't want Long Xiangxiao to be distracted by such things. She would rather they always be together. The reason Long Chen had changed plans was mostly because of that mysterious elder from Heavenly Fate Island. He was worried the Huaian sect would be unable to protect his family. After all, the Huaian sect's power was stretched throughout the continent and not concentrated. It might be possible for Heavenly Fate Island to take advantage of some small openings. He didn't want to be careless. So after considering it, the safest options were to send them to the spirit world directly or to the Wine God Palace. Based on the current situation, only the Wine God Palace could guarantee their safety. As for his other allies, whether it was the Huaian sect or the heaven-splitting battle sect, they weren't as dependable. He also didn't want to send them to the spirit world. The main reason for this was his little sister. Being forced to live isolated from the world was unfair to her. She needed to learn how to interact with others, and she needed to experience the joy and privilege a child should experience. The flying boat flew rapidly. On the way to the eastern wasteland, Long Chen hadn't run into many sea demons, but now that Xiaoyu was flying, sea demons appeared quite often. However, she easily activated the flying boat's offensive measures to kill them. She cried out excitedly. As to her, 
Controlling the flying boat was a fun and stimulating game. After several days, the flying boat finally reached the other side of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, entering the Central Plains. Long Chen brought them over to the Grand Xia Ancient Nation. Once they were close, Long Chen put away the flying boat and randomly captured a sixth rank magical beast as a mount to carry them to the border. This was the same place he had entered the Grand Xia Ancient Nation from the first time he had come. The guard captain had been very courteous and even treated him to some wine. Stop here. Hand over your identity plate. Long. Long Chen. At the top of the border town's gates, a person stopped halfway, staring at Long Chen in disbelief. Chapter 1522 A Chance for Regret Translator Born to be Chi Hao, Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. This person was precisely the guard he had seen the first time he had entered the Grand Xia ancient nation, Chi Hao. He had even treated Long Chen to some wine. Back then, the two had ended up bonding over the Grand Han ancient nation's despicable and shameless actions. It was because of that bonding that they had talked like old friends, and Long Chen had given him a few medicinal pills. Ha ha ha, so you still remember me. I'll be able to brag about that in the future, laughed Chi Hao. He jumped off the gates and ran over. He was originally going for a handshake, but Long Chen gave him a fierce hug. Even after all this time, you're still guarding here? It seems you still haven't gotten the hang of the Grand Xia's bureaucratic culture. Teased Long Chen Chi Hao was extremely moved that Long Chen still remembered him. Just what kind of figure was Long Chen? Even surrounded by enemies, he had slaughtered his way out. After his fight on Devil Spirit Mountain, his fight against three Empyreans, breaking out of a seal created by three divine items, destroying dozens of sects. He was the number one figure in the eastern Xuan region. Long Chen, you came here thanks to Prince Yanchong's invitation, right? Good, with you present, the Grand Han won't dare to be arrogant, cried Chi Hao excitedly. Invitation? The Grand Han? What's going on? Long Chen was startled. You weren't invited to come and help. Chi Hao was surprised. I came this time because I have some things to discuss with the Wine God Palace. Did something happen in the Grand Xia? Wasn't the Grand Han on the verge of destruction asked Long Chen. This isn't the place to talk. Come, let's talk inside. These people are. Long Chen hastily gave the introductions. When Chi Hao learned they were Long Chen's parents, he hastily greeted them as a junior would to a senior. He then led them into the town and found them a place to rest before ordering some food. Xiaoyu seemed to be addicted to playing, and Chi Hao called over four people to accompany her as she played on the town walls. Mrs. Long wasn't at ease with just that and also went to accompany her. Now only Long Chen, Long Xiang Xiao, and Chi Hao were present. They were drinking wine and eating. Chi Hao began to tell them of the recent changes in the Grand Xia ancient nation. After the Four Nations ancient remnant closed last time, the Grand Han ancient nation's capital had been essentially destroyed by a formation expert called Xia Chen. Everyone had thought that the Grand Han would quickly collapse and be consumed by the Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu. However, despite its core being destroyed, the Grand Han suddenly began to produce one expert after another. It was unknown where they were getting the support for this but it was like these experts were sprouting out of the dirt. The Grand Han not only recovered, but their power became greater than ever. Unfortunately, Chi Hao was not a core figure of the Grand Xia and didn't know the inner workings behind this, but his guess was that there was some great force supporting the Grand Han from the shadows. He guessed that these geniuses that were rising out of the Grand Han were not actually the Grand Han's people. They were very likely people from various sects. However, these geniuses all claimed to be from the Grand Han. They claimed that they were born and grew up there. It was just that they were secretly raised until this time, like a demon sword storing up energy until it broke out its seal in one blow. The rate of the Grand Han's growth could be described as monstrous. Rank 7 Celestials were like dogs. Rank 8 Celestials were common. And even Rank 9 Celestials weren't that rare. The Grand Han had actually produced three Rank 9 Celestials. Most terrifying of all, half a year ago, the Grand Han announced that they had produced their first Empyrean. An Empyrean? How is that possible now Long Chen jumped in shock. Empyreans were geniuses born through karmic luck. 
They needed an incredible amount of karmic luck as a foundation to be born. The Grand Han couldn't possibly be in possession of that much karmic luck. Furthermore, even if they had given birth to an Empyrean, with their wealth, there was no way for them to raise one. Phoenixes did not land in worthless places. There was no way to raise an Empyrean in a place as poor as the Grand Han. Back then, Xia Yanchang's father, Xia Yuyang, had told Long Chen about karmic luck. The Four Nations' karmic luck was not enough to give birth to Empyreans. In that case, there was only one possibility, and that was someone was supporting them secretly. With the Grand Han's shameless methods, such a thing could definitely happen. They were using other people's geniuses to put up a front. So that's why it's so exaggerated. We started getting suspicious as soon as they started producing that many Rank 7 and Rank 8 Celestials. Then let alone Rank 9 Celestials. They even produced an Empyrean. Don't you think that's too fake? Absolutely shameless. Cursed Chi Hao. Chi Hao drank a mouthful of wine and continued. Now the Grand Han is acting strangely. The Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu are all a bit afraid. The main thing is that they don't know just who is supporting the Grand Han. We've tried to investigate them, but we find that these geniuses have never appeared in the Eastern Xuan region. It seems like they were really born in the Grand Han. Long Chen sank into thought. If they haven't appeared in the Eastern Xuan region, what about the other regions the other regions? No way. Who would have the ability to draw over geniuses from the other regions gasped Chi Hao. Long Chen smiled faintly and didn't say anything. If his guess was accurate, then it probably was only them who had this ability. It seemed their hands had stretched even deeper than he had thought. He felt like he had previously been thinking too simply about them. After saying a few more things, he got up and called for Xiaoyu and Mrs. Long. Chi Hao personally sent them on to the transportation formation. Long Chen, this time, you must protect the face of the Grand Xia and give them a vicious slap, called out Chi Hao. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up and activated the formation. He was sent straight outside the Grand Xia's capital. As soon as he arrived and before he could even see what was around him, the people in charge of registering the people arriving let out startled cries. You, report to Xia Yanchang that I've arrived, but don't tell the others. Have Xia Yanchang come find me at the Wine God Palace, said Long Chen to those people. Naturally, there was no one in the Grand Xia that didn't recognize him. He had a definite emotional connection to the Grand Xia, having once taken on the mantle of their general just for appearance's sake. The attendants hastily flew out. Long Chen took out a cloak and covered his face, not wanting to cause too great of a fuss. He led his family into the city, and the capital was flourishing just as it had been. Xiaoyu was looking in every direction, soaking in the sights. Xiaoyu, I'm sorry I can't accompany you to play in the streets. We have to do our work first before play. Understand? Asked Long Chen as he held her hand. Yes, Xiaoyu nodded obediently. Long Chen led them forward. He saw many people wearing very conspicuous strange clothes on the streets. The robes of the Grand Han? Have they once more come to poison the Grand Xia's youths? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen ignored them and continued on his way. But he just happened to bump shoulders with another group. Are you blind? Or did you not bring your eyes? Cursed a woman wearing a large dress. Her dress now had part of a small footprint on it but it was so small that it was impossible to see without looking closely. Sorry, I'm very sorry, apologized Mrs. Long. You think it's enough to apologize? Are all the Grand Zaya's people so rude and don't even know how to walk? Considering our large group, don't you think you should have walked to the side? Why did you have to get close to us? Were you trying to steal our things? Demanded the woman. They had a total of 56 people wearing luxurious robes. They seemed to possess quite a high status. As for Mrs. Long, she was wearing her ordinary clothes. In comparison, she naturally appeared lower in class. In truth, Mrs. Long had been quite a rare beauty in her youth. Later, because the Long family had declined, she had worked so hard that she had ended up aging early. Thanks to Long Chen, her beauty had been restored, and she looked to be no more than 30. In the prime of her beauty, this woman clearly contained some envy toward her. 
Or perhaps she simply felt that Mrs. Long's clothes were too low class so she could refuse to accept her apology. Cursing people is wrong. This footprint wasn't made by my mom. Ziaoya was the first to interject to protect her mother. Where did this brat come from? You dare to randomly shout on the streets? Is the entire Grand Shia just like this clean your mouth before you speak? My sister is correct. This footprint wasn't done by my mother, as it doesn't match her shoe. I'll give you one chance to apologize to my mother and sister right now. Otherwise, you won't even have a chance to regret it, said Long Chen coldly. Brazen peasant, you dare? Today, if you don't kowtow to me, this matter won't end, shouted a large man in their group. His voice was extremely loud, frightening Xiaoyu. She hid behind Long Chen, and he hastily comforted her. Don't be afraid. You're a bit sleepy. Once you go to sleep, everything will be over. Following Long Chen's words, Xiaoyu suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion and fell asleep. Dad, Long Chen looked at Long Shiang Xiao. Haha, calling for your father is useless. If you don't kneel and beg for forgiveness, you can give up on leaving sneered the man. At this time, there was already a large group of people watching. They were all infuriated by what they were seeing, but no one came up. I understand. Long Shiang Xiao nodded and lightly patted Mrs. Long on the back. She immediately collapsed, and he carried her on his back. Long Chen, while holding Xiaoyu, turned to those people. He coldly said, as I said, I won't give you a chance to regret it. He raised his finger and pointed at the sneering woman who had intentionally found trouble for them. A bolt of lightning flew out. Blood splashed as the lightning pierced her head. The cold smile still hung on her face, but her eyes lost their light. With a thumping sound, she landed on the ground. Chapter 1523 Returning to the Wine God Palace Translator Born to be he killed someone with the point of his finger, making the men and women wearing the Grand Han's robes shocked. It had to be known that they were no ordinary people. They were all powerful cultivators. Although their celestial rankings weren't very high, they had reached the foundation forging realm. Seeing that they couldn't sense Long Chen's aura, they assumed that he was an ordinary person. After all, amongst Long Chen's group of four, the only one whose aura they could sense was Long Shiang Xiao, and he was only at the late meridian opening realm, as he hadn't even reached the Xianchen realm. They naturally didn't view them as a threat. However, Long Chen killed a rank 5 foundation forging celestial with the point of his finger, without her being able to resist. Bastard, how dare you use a secret mechanism to attack? Die, roared one of them, thinking Long Chen had used some kind of hidden mechanism to kill her. Long Chen snorted, and he caught that person's fist. He twisted it ever so slightly, and a cracking sound rang out. That person's arm was forcibly torn off at the shoulder by Long Chen. A-H-H that person let out a pained cry. His face twisted from the pain, and blood quickly covered his luxurious robes. Good. When Long Chen tore off that person's arm, someone in the crowd couldn't help but cheer. In the past few months, experts from the Grand Han had been coming to the Grand Xia quite a bit. They were all powerful cultivators and large bullies. They would often cause trouble on purpose. While the Grand Xia's imperial family adopted a restrained attitude, the Grand Xia had issued orders saying that people were to do their best not to cause conflicts with them. The commoners didn't know what the higher-ups were thinking, but they were extremely dissatisfied with these orders. These people that intentionally ran over to the Grand Xia to cause trouble were just that hateful. Who are you? shouted one of the Grand Han's people. Long Chen's face was still half covered by his cloak making it so they couldn't tell who he was. When people tried to look with their divine sense, they found spiritual strength blocking them. Long Chen didn't say anything. He merely raised another finger, and a bolt of lightning flashed. Another one of them was killed by a lightning arrow to the head. He collapsed on the ground lifelessly. The Grand Han's experts were shocked. When the first woman was killed, it had happened too suddenly for them to see. But this time, they saw it clearly. Long Chen had slowly raised his finger and pointed it at the person he had just killed. That person had clearly been terrified, but he hadn't dodged. He had just waited there for Long Chen to kill him, as if there was some energy suppressing him, preventing him from moving. After that person was killed, 
Long Chen pointed his finger at another. That person's face instantly turned pale, and he let out a terrified cry as he tried to run. He had only just turned and raised one of his feet when his body stiffened. A lightning arrow shot through his head. In just a moment, three of the Grand Han's experts were killed. The commoners within the capital of the Grand Shia all felt their blood blazing with excitement. The Grand Han's unreasonable bullying had long since provoked their anger. Now that Long Chen had killed some, they felt like he was venting their anger. These three insulted my family and touched my reverse scale. As I said, I didn't give them any chance to regret it. As for you, you didn't insult my family and only attacked me. I took your arm as the prize. Now I'm going to leave. If anyone wants to stop me, be prepared for it to cost your life. Long Chen started walking again while still holding his sleeping sister. Long Shiang Xiao followed while carrying his wife. However, Long Chen had only taken a few steps when several figures rushed over from ahead. These people had much stronger cultivation bases. They were soul transformation experts, and the heavenly Tao pressure from them was stronger, marking them as rank 8 celestials. Seeing those people, the previous group of Grand Han experts, who had been frightened into wooden chickens, immediately became revitalized and shouted, Senior Apprentice Brothers, these bastards killed our members. That person's shout was cut off when a figure appeared in front of him like a phantom. A large hand tightly caught his throat. You don't know what respect is. Being merciful to you really is unnecessary. Since that's the case, you can all die. Now Long Chen's voice was like thunder and full of killing intent. The heads of these people exploded all at once. Only one young woman remained, covered in blood and too terrified to move. This woman was the only one who hadn't immediately thought of revenge when she saw these experts coming from ahead. So the rest had all died, while she was the sole survivor. Bastard, you dare to kill the experts of my Grand Han. You'll pay the price for your foolishness. One of the Grand Han's rank 8 celestials charged over with a sword. A cold light flashed like lightning. This one attack was incredibly powerful, and if it landed on the ground, the street would crumble. It was unknown how many of the commoners watching the battle would be killed by the results. Long Chen's killing intent blazed. These people didn't even view the Grand Xia's people as human. Although he wasn't a member of the Grand Xia, he had a definite connection to the Grand Xia and he was infuriated. Long Chen reached out, intent on catching the blade with his bare hand. This sword was not an ancestral item, but it was extremely sharp. The rank 8 celestial sneered. Originally, he had been holding back lightly, but now he unleashed all his power, wanting to blow Long Chen to bits. As for the other people around, he didn't care. A sharp sound rang out when it slashed into Long Chen's hand. However, that sound ended in an instant and the immense pressure from that person's attack also vanished. What the other Grand Han experts were stunned. From the start to the end, Long Chen hadn't used his cultivation base. He had blocked that person's full strength attack with just the power of his physical body. They immediately started to get a bad feeling. Long Chen gripped the sword and turned his wrist slightly. The sword snapped in half, and the broken half in his hand suddenly slashed back toward the rank 8 celestial. Blood rained down as that rank 8 celestial was cut in two. The other experts were all stunned. However, they had already started launching their own attacks and couldn't stop in time. Long Chen snorted and swung the broken blade in his hand. A huge sword image devoured those experts. Blood mist exploded as those experts were blown to bits along with their weapons. For a moment, the streets were so quiet that it was possible to hear the drop of a single pin. Everyone stared in shock at the mysterious, cloaked man who was still holding a broken blade. Long Chen dropped the blade to the ground, carefully holding his sister. He switched her to a more comfortable position and continued walking forward. Long Shiang Xiao followed as well, and he stared at Long Chen's back proudly. This was his son. His son had gone from a tiny child to an unrivaled hero. The most gratifying thing to him was that despite Long Chen growing so strong, he didn't let his new power cause him to lose his bearing. As much as possible, it was best to leave Li Wei and not implicate the innocent. He had seen everything Long Chen had done to spare the innocent. He was full of pride for his son. Long Chen quickly arrived in front of the Wine God Palace. Hence, he woke up Xiaoyu and Mrs. Long. They entered the gates. 
The disciple at the entrance instantly recognized Long Chen, as his fame in the Wine God Palace was extremely great. The medicinal wine formulas he had come up with had greatly benefited all the Wine God Palace's disciples, and they were very grateful to him. That disciple hastily opened the path for Long Chen, indicating that he could go on his own without anyone restricting him. Once he was inside the Wine God Palace, Long Chen relaxed quite a bit. Perhaps it was only within the Wine God Palace that a person could fully forget their worries and troubles. In this aspect, they were even superior to the spirit world. After entering the Wine God Palace, it felt like a mysterious energy was cleansing his mind, allowing him to fully relax. It truly is a good place. Sighed Long Shiang Xiao emotionally. Xiaoyu and Mrs. Long weren't able to sense it, but as a cultivator, he was greatly affected by the scenery and artistic realm that filled the Wine God Palace. Mr. Long Chen, you've finally returned. I have some wine that is anxiously waiting for your appraisal. Long Chen had just reached the first pavilion when a disciple came out to block his path. This was precisely the first disciple he had conned wine out of his first time in the Wine God Palace. Long Chen's words had enlightened him and allowed him to progress greatly on his wine Dao. Hence, he had always eagerly waited for Long Chen to return and appraise his new wine. Ah, I'm a bit busy today. I have to go see the high priest. How about another day? Said Long Chen. If it was during normal times. He would naturally be delighted to drink the Wine God Palace's fine wine and then brag about his amazing knowledge. But unfortunately, he didn't have the time, and he wasn't in the mood. That's fine, that's fine. I'll just give you my wine. You can taste it whenever and come guide me when you're free. That person hastily took out some wine. Long Chen was extremely embarrassed by how highly this disciple viewed him, and he could only accept his wine before continuing onward. As he continued, more of the Wine God Palace's disciples came to greet him. Seeing Long Chen's relationships with other people were so good, Mrs. Long was smiling brightly. She even stealthily whispered to him that one of the young women was quite good, meaning he should get even closer to her. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. That woman might look young, but her age was definitely frightening. His mother's imagination was absolutely terrifying. Taste my blade. Long Chen was in the midst of continuing forward when a large, burly man appeared and attacked Long Chen without saying anything further. Chapter 1524 Find a female fatty translator, born to be cold saber light slashed at Long Chen. This move was very sudden but didn't contain any pressure. However, there was a kind of fierce and unyielding will within it. Bang! Long Chen smiled and let out a punch. Two invisible wills clashed as both he and that person retreated a step. Fatty too, this is your greeting. This person was the fierce Yang Butcher. Tu Kai and Shang. Currently, he had reached the middle stage of the Life Star Realm. Back when Long Chen had first come to the Wine God Palace, Tu Kai and Shang had been stuck at a bottleneck and unable to progress past the peak of soul transformation. Now, in just over a year, he had progressed to the Mid-Life Star Realm. That showed just how long he had been stuck and what a solid foundation he had built for himself. Now his cultivation base was rising at a shocking speed. During this time, Long Chen had killed an unknown number of life star experts. But in that exchange just now, he had sensed power a hundred times greater than other life star experts. Even if you ignored the power behind Tu Kai and Chang's attack, just his powerful spirit was enough to make the will of his enemies crumble. Ha ha ha. Long Chen, it really is you. You are getting stronger. Tu Kai and Chang's laughter was like thunder. He had conveniently tested Long Chen's power with his greeting. Xiaoyu, come, don't be afraid. Greet your big brother fatty. Long Chen smiled and pulled over Xiaoyu who was hiding behind his back. Hello, big brother, fatty. Xiaoyu let out a quiet greeting with her head down. Tu Kai and Chang's appearance was quite frightening. Even adults wouldn't dare to look him in the eye. Fatty? Big brother. Tu Kai and Chang's expression became odd. The name of the famous fierce Yang Butcher had shaken the continent 3,000 years ago. Now this girl was calling him big brother? When he thought about it, he supposed that when he drank wine with Long Chen, they didn't let seniority affect their friendship. He had never viewed Long Chen as a junior, and Long Chen had never viewed him as a senior. 
They viewed each other purely as brothers. All right. Hello, little sister, said Tu Kian Chang helplessly. Fatty, how are you getting more and more shameless? Did she call you big brother for nothing? Don't you even have a greeting gift to give her? Don't tell me all this fat of yours was accumulated through being stingy toward others, demanded Long Chen. Tu Kian Chang's expression immediately turned purple. He was someone who had escaped the mundane world. Other than wine and his saber, he had nothing else. What was he supposed to give a little girl as a gift? He knew Long Chen did this on purpose. This was the revenge for his greeting. Chen Er, don't be rude. You're the one with the thick face. Gifts are supposed to be given freely by others. How can you demand a gift from others? Said Mrs. Long. Tu Kian Chang was extremely grateful to her. He accompanied them to the high priest's residence. Long Chen, you're not doing too bad for yourself. The entire eastern Xuan region is in chaos because of you. Compared to you, what I did back in my day was nothing more than a small scuffle. Tu Kian Chang gave Long Chen a thumbs up compared to the other disciples of the Wine God Palace. Tu Kian Chang was more connected to the rest of the world. He had a certain understanding of the news sweeping through the continent. Long Chen's name had long since shaken the entire eastern Xuan region. Even these wine cultivators who didn't care about the rest of the world had heard of it. Back in his day, Tu Kian Chang had gotten revenge on the ancient races for the death of his brother. Now, Long Chen was hunted by the entire world. His enemies didn't just include the ancient races, but also the righteous path, corrupt path, ancient family alliance, blood kill hall, and so on. The most shocking thing was that he had even destroyed a pill tower. That was a vicious slap to Pill Valley's face. So even Tu Kian Chang praised Long Chen's gods. Previously, whenever Tu Kian Chang mentioned how he had fought against the ancient races and exterminated quite a few of them, he had been quite prideful. But now he found that this pride was a joke in front of Long Chen. He, I was just blindly messing around. Is the Wine God Palace doing well these days? Long Chen intentionally changed the subject. He didn't want to talk about this here. If it was just the two of them, he naturally wouldn't mind bragging a bit. But right now, his mother was present. He didn't want to worry her. Tu Kian Chang wasn't a fool and immediately understood. He said, it's thanks to you. Your medicinal wine formulas have benefited us greatly. Speaking of which, how was the realm of my greeting? Not bad. Long Chen forced himself to say this. What? What is that supposed to mean? Long Chen's reply was very unsatisfactory to Tu Kian Shang. Do you really need me to say it? Fine. What I mean is, amongst everyone, your progress is the slowest. The attack of yours contained the peak of the Yang path. It was fierce and domineering, but it only contained the slightest trace of the soft. Yin sighed. If I wasn't familiar with you, I wouldn't have even been able to sense it. So I said not bad. Mostly because I've drunk so much of your wine. I just feel bad criticizing you, said Long Chen helplessly. Although Long Chen's cultivation base was not as high as Tu Kian Chang's, his eyesight was very sharp. Tu Kian Chang had always pursued the domineering Yang side, wanting to push that Yang side to the peak. Such a path was limited. So when Long Chen had prepared the medicinal wine formulas for him, he had added in the softer Yun side. These wine formulas had even been praised by the high priest, and he had said that they were very suitable for Tu Kian Shang. Unfortunately, this was incredibly difficult for Tu Kian Shang. It was like asking a fierce butcher to put down his blade, and wield handkerchiefs in a graceful and light dance. That sight was practically unimaginable. So even after all this time, Tu Kian Shang had only progressed very slightly on that path. His progress was the slowest amongst the Wine God Palace's disciples. His character was just too fierce, and it was difficult to change it. Then what should I do? demanded Tu Kian Shang, vexed. He naturally understood the reasoning behind this, but he just wasn't capable of doing so. Perhaps you should find a female fatty to study with you. Long Chen shrugged. He raised his eyebrows a couple of times. That appearance, it was a bit. Yes. A bit wretched. Are you serious? Tu Kian Chang was stunned. What? Do you think I would trick you? But, the wine god palaces are prohibited from marrying, said Tu Kian Chang. 
What? How are you so perverted? What I was saying is, you should find a woman to discuss the Tao with. You should learn from each other. One man and woman. One yin and one yang. One soft and one hard. Yin and yang cannot exist without each other. You need to learn how to control yin energy. And to do that, you need to learn what yin is. What softness is. It's not like I was telling you to do that. How are you so dirty minded? What are you thinking about all day? Demanded Long Chen disdainfully. Tu Kai and Chang glared at him, knowing that he had been conned again. Young friend Long Chen, you really are the blessing of my wine god palace. Long Chen came to a stop. He realized that they had arrived in front of the high priest's residence without him noticing. The lean and hearty high priest looked the same as ever and was standing outside. Seeing him actually come out to greet him, Long Chen hastily bowed. Long Shiang Xiao, Mrs. Long, and Xiaoyu followed suit. When Long Chen stated his true purpose in coming here, the high priest laughed. My wine god palace hasn't had guests staying long term for a long time. Just like you said, yin and yang cannot exist on their own. We must be both apart from the world and a part of the world. The wine god palace has been cheerless lately, and having a few guests will be good. I will represent the wine god palace in welcoming our new guests. Hong Yan, bring our respected guests for a tour. A female disciple appeared and smilingly held Xiaoyu's hand as she led Long Chen's family away to familiarize themselves with their new home. Many thanks, High Priest. Long Chen gratefully bowed. Long Chen was especially grateful now. The wine god palace was supposed to be a pure cultivation land for wine, and it never allowed outsiders in. The high priest was entirely giving him face. Originally, with Long Chen's pride, he would never beg others. But within the entire continent, only the wine god palace had the power to guarantee his family's protection, and the high priest hadn't hesitated to agree. Long Chen made sure to remember this favor. Come in. The high priest smiled and beckoned Long Chen into his residence. He took out a jar of wine and poured out two cups, handing one to Long Chen. Long Chen gratefully received it with two hands. Looking at the wine, he cried out in shock. High priest, you, you succeeded. Long Chen saw that the wine had countless small bubbles flowing within it naturally. They were flowing slowly but never paused, revolving according to a profound trajectory. It was like the transformations of heaven and earth were represented within it. It can't count as a success. It's just an initial advance. And it's thanks to your help. Your brazen ideas and inferences were what gave me the insights to break through my bottleneck and advance once more. Don't you want to taste it? The high priest smiled warmly. Long Chen took a sip of the wine and almost choked. Sour, sweet, bitter, spicy. All the flavors of life were intertwining. This flavor was overwhelming. This definitely couldn't count as fine wine, but it couldn't count as bad wine either. It was almost impossible to swallow. However, when it entered his stomach, the wine began to circulate in it, and then streams of energy flowed through his body. What shocked him was that his 108,000 stars activated on their own to absorb the wine energy. At the same time, streams of energy entered his mind, and it immediately became empty. He entered a state of total enlightenment. His thought process became incomparably clear, and he almost seemed to grasp some kind of profound law. That feeling was indescribable. Good wine. After an unknown amount of time, Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. Chapter 1525 Time Sensitive Mission Translator Born to be oh? What about it is good? Asked the high priest with a smile. It's good in that. It's free. Long Chen also smiled. Ha ha ha, laughed the high priest. He, it was just a joke. If I were to compare your wine to a painting, then last time, the wine you gave me was a vast masterpiece containing every aspect of the world and endless profundities. However, my cultivation base was too low to comprehend those profundities. Yet this time, you didn't give me a painting but a white piece of paper. You also provided every possible color of the paint. The first one was too profound for me to understand, and even if I did, I would only be able to copy it. But now you've given me my own canvas and paint, along with the hundred flavors of life, so I can plot and extrapolate my own Tao onto it. I can clearly sense the difference between the two realms contained within your first and second wines. The former was a shaped demonstration, 
while the latter is a shapeless teaching. Last time, because the high priest's wine contained a realm that was far too distant from his level, Long Chen could only feel that he was extremely minute, and he didn't gain anything. This time, the high priest's realm had clearly increased to a whole new level. Before, his wine was vast like a sea, surging with such power that only peerless experts could control it. Now, his wine was a clear spring, and the water could be drawn up at will. Although the opening to the spring looked small, who knew how vast the source of its water was? Who would dare to say for sure that the source of the spring was not just as vast as a sea? One looked vast, but while it looked big, it had to have an end. The other looked smaller and more reserved, but had a limitless foundation. The possibilities that existed for it were limitless noveloon.com ha ha ha. No wonder you were capable of shaking the entire eastern Xuan region. This perception is quite terrifying. I gave all my wine god palace's disciples a chance to taste this new wine, but none of them were capable of putting it like this, praised the high priest. He, that's because I'm examining it from the viewpoint of someone outside the wine dao. When I drink this wine, I am a blank piece of paper, but their papers already have their colors on them which have restricted their cultivation paths. That's why they can only see things related to their own paths. High priest, this wine is a priceless treasure to me. This state of clear-mindedness can allow me to extrapolate many things. So about that, Long Chen laughed mischievously, his meaning obvious. The high priest laughed. Even if we had no relationship, I would have to reward you for evaluating the essence of my wine. Tell me, how much do you want? He. You know me, I'm not greedy, however much you want to give, I'll take. Long Chen's skin was definitely as thick as a city wall. In one way, it sounded like Long Chen wouldn't mind no matter how much the high priest gave, but the real meaning was that Long Chen wanted as much as he could have. The high priest didn't mind, he took out two foot tall jugs. This wine is extremely difficult to make. Of nine jugs, six failed and are essentially poison wine. Only three succeeded. If you like it, you can take them all. This wine was so difficult to make that even the high priest wasn't able to have a high success rate from creating it. The poison wine's realm had become muddled, and a person who drank might become insane. Many thanks, high priest. Long Chen was delighted. He naturally wanted it. This was practically divine wine to him. He could use this wine's special ability to create his own magical arts. The most marvelous aspect of this wine was the clear-minded state it allowed someone to enter. It gave them a blank piece of paper. Long Chen could add his own paint to this blank paper to test things. If the test failed, that was fine. He would retreat from that realm and enter again. It was like switching out to another blank piece of paper. Long Chen graciously accepted the two new jugs and the original jug the high priest had taken out. The original was half empty but his skin was still thick enough to take it. Standing on courtesy? No, that wasn't Long Chen's style. I should be thanking you. Your brazen thinking has benefited me greatly, said the high priest. As Long Chen and the high priest were talking, the sound of footsteps rang out from outside. Xia Yanchong and Xia Yaoluo had arrived. Xia Yanchong still looked the same, but his aura had become more reserved. He had reached the soul transformation realm. Because he had just advanced, his aura was in the midst of slowly condensing. He was about to reach the first heaven stage. As for Xiao Yaoluo, she was still as beautiful as ever, but that arrogance and willfulness of a princess had vanished, replaced with maturity and humility. Although the Xia Yaoluo in front of him was much easier to be friends with, Long Chen still preferred that willful girl. Sometimes, a person's flaws would be more memorable than their strong points. Perhaps this was individuality. However, individuality would often change through the baptism of time and trials. To adapt to life, it might vanish forever. It's been a few days, but the two of you are as graceful as ever. That's worthy of celebration. So come, let me treat you to some wine. Long Chen beckoned the two of them. Being unconstrained when it came to old friends would make them feel closer. The high priest smiled and left leaving this place for the three of them to reminisce. Long Chen, I really missed you. Once the high priest was gone, there was no need to be constrained at all. Hence, Xia Yanchong charged forward and gave Long Chen a hug. From the start, 
The two of them had been like brothers. Xia Yanchang walked the undefeatable Dao, and his character was very similar to Long Chen's. Now that they met again, although Xia Yanchang had reached the soul transformation realm while Long Chen was stuck at the peak of Jade Core, the difference between the two had only grown greater. Now Long Chen was the fiercest figure in the eastern Xuan region. Long Chen hugged back. Suddenly, he let go and turned to Xia Yaoluo. Come, little girl, give your big uncle a hug. Xia Yaoluo immediately turned red. She hadn't even decided whether she wanted to or not, but Long Chen had already embraced her. Xia Yaoluo trembled slightly. In his embrace, she felt warmer and safer than she had ever felt before. Back then, it had been her selfishness that had resulted in her becoming a bargaining chip against Xia Yanchang's undefeatable Dao in the Four Nations' ancient remnant. Whenever she felt remorse, helplessness, and loneliness, it was this embrace that made her feel warm. Now that she was in it again, everything that had happened back then came rushing back toward her. The bickering when they had first met on the streets, the con that they had done in the Wine God Palace, the Imperial Banquet, the fight outside the palace, all those scenes surfaced one by one like she was reliving them. Just as Xia Yaoluo was lost in her memories, Long Chen let go of her, returning her to reality. Having lost his embrace, she felt an indescribable feeling of loss. Now, Long Chen was dragging Xia Yanchang into the room and taking out his wine. Xia Yaoluo simply followed and sat beside Xia Yanchang silently. Xia Yanchang glanced at her. Sensing the change in her emotions, he couldn't help but feel sad for her. Ever since Xia Yaoluo had tried to kill herself and Long Chen had saved her, she had matured overnight, practically becoming a new person. To not be arrogant, to not be willful, to become hardworking and earnest, these were good things. But Xia Yanchang knew that her heart would forever have a person's figure within it. He had tried persuading her to find her own happiness. However, her response was that she wouldn't fall in love with anyone. She wouldn't marry anyone either, or if she really had to, she would only do it for the Grand Xia ancient nation. She would forever be loyal to the Grand Xia's people to repay them for her sins. Xia Yaoluo thought that it was a stain on her life to have liked one of the Grand Han's princes. Now she liked Long Chen, but because of that stain, she felt inferior, feeling like she wasn't a match for him. Hence. She would rather live out her days alone. Her reaction upon seeing Long Chen further proved that. However, she didn't allow herself to have any fanciful dreams. This made Xia Yanchang's heart ache for her, but he was also helpless. The things called emotions were sometimes simply unsolvable. Brother Yanchang, what's happening with the Grand Han? Are they provoking you? Asked Long Chen. Getting to the point, Xia Yanchang's expression immediately sank. Even Xia Yaoluo's expression became unsightly. Fu, Xia Yanchang wanted to swear, but he didn't end up saying it in front of his sister. However, there was a verb and a noun in the swear he wanted to make. These shameless bastards ended up finding a nest full of bastards. And now, more and more bastards come out to humiliate us. I wanted to use martial force to crush them. Those idiots, they're just asking for a beating, raged Xia Yanchang. If this wasn't the wine god palace, he might have crushed the table in his anger. My imperial father says that this matter isn't so simple. The Grand Han is now just a pretense, and dealing with them is useless. We have to find a way to handle whoever is acting behind the scenes, or anything else would be useless. Acting rashly would only make things worse. Long Chen, what do you think? Asked Xia Yaoluo. Me? I've got an idea. Let's go. Time is tight and this mission's important. Long Chen stood. It seemed that he was destined to always be working. Now he would have to be a free fighter again. Chapter 1526 Pull My Carriage Translator Born to be the three of them left the Wine God Palace and were very quickly surrounded by a group of experts wearing the Grand Han's robes. They numbered in the 50s and were all young soul transformation experts. Their leader was even a rank 9 celestial. He was of medium build and had shoulder-length hair. The thing about him that gave the deepest impression was his large face. His face was very large, or perhaps it should be called wide. For normal people, two hands would be enough to cover their face, but this person would need three hands. Xia Yanchang, what do you think you're doing? 
This person killed people of my grand Han repeatedly, and you're actually walking with him? Is this your public provocation toward my grand Han? You want a war between our two nations, demanded the rank 9 celestial. Clearly, this person was finding trouble for Xia Yunchong, infuriating him. These fellows always kept saying that the Grand Xia was provoking the Grand Han, that they wanted war, all while clearly aware that the Grand Xia didn't want a war. The Grand Xia knew how frightening war was. Many people would die. War was not a crafty trick. It was barbaric plunder. The goal was to get the most benefits through fighting. But whether you won or lost, the ones who suffered the most were always the innocent commoners. Just how many true experts could the Grand Xia and Grand Han really utilize in a war? Their main force would still depend on their army. And where did that army come from if not the commoners? The pain of the battlefield would fall on them. The Grand Xia was profoundly aware of how much pain war brought. Only idiots like the Grand Han would repeatedly say that they wanted a war whenever they didn't get what they wanted. Because the Grand Xia had simply endured. The Grand Han had continuously increased their provocations, thinking that the Grand Xia was afraid of them. That was what infuriated Xia Yunchong the most. Before Xia Yunchong could even reply, Long Chen slapped that rank 9 celestial across his large face. He spun through the air in a beautiful arc, landing in the distance. Did your parents never teach you not to point at others when speaking to them? snorted Long Chen. If it was before. Perhaps he would have directly launched a sudden attack to kill, because a rank 9 celestial would have posed some threat to him. Now that the Divine Gate Star had grown stronger along with the other four stars, Long Chen's power was so great that he no longer cared about rank 9 celestials. Only Empyreans could be his opponents. As for this rank 9 celestial, he was nothing more than a clown. Long Chen might not care about rank 9 celestials, but that didn't mean that other people didn't. Even Xia Yunchong and Xia Yaoluo jumped in shock. Long Chen was even stronger than the legends. That rank 9 celestial had only just landed when Long Chen appeared in front of him like a phantom. Long Chen pressed a finger right against his head. Do you want to live or do you want to die? Lightning revolved around Long Chen's finger. It could erupt at any moment. Who? Who are you? The rank 9 celestial didn't even dare to move. He was pale, shocked and infuriated. He hadn't expected such a terrifying expert to appear in the Grand Xia. Long Chen once more slapped him, sending him flying. His face was originally large, but now it was swelling even larger. He coughed up blood, and half his teeth were knocked out. His head was buzzing so hard that he couldn't even form the will to resist. Long Chen's finger pressed against his head once more. If you answer besides the point again, I guarantee that you won't see tomorrow's sun. Tell me. Do you want to live or do you want to die? I, I want to live the rank 9 celestial was now completely terrified. He wasn't able to resist at all, and his life was completely in Long Chen's hands. No one could save him. Where do you come from? Demanded Long Chen. I'm from, think well, you'll only have one chance. As soon as you lie, you'll lose your chance at living, said Long Chen coldly. I'm from, the Grand Han, you're asking for it. The lightning runes on Long Chen's finger began to shine brightly, and a terrifying pressure descended. I'm not lying. I really am. They are the ones who were invited over. I'm really a native of the Grand Han. If you don't believe me, just look at my signature large face, and you'll know. The rank 9 celestial pointed at his own face in terror. The Grand Han's faces were a bit large, but this person's face was definitely an exaggeration. They were all invited? Invited from where? demanded Long Chen. The fact that this rank 9 celestial would bring up his own face at the end meant that he might be telling the truth. I only now did the rank 9 celestial realize that he had said something he shouldn't have, and he gulped. The thunder force on Long Chen's finger brightened once more. They come from many places. They're all from other regions cried out the rank 9 celestial. Long Chen nodded. That seemed to be true. If they came from the eastern Xuan region, people would have long since found mistakes in their identity. Even if they were disciples from secluded sects, there couldn't possibly be this many experts. They came from other regions. That was about what Long Chen had guessed. It was just that he didn't know their goal. What was the point of all this? 
to use the Grand Han to provoke the other four nations, who would benefit from a war between the four ancient nations? Or were they testing the Wine God Palace? Die. Just as Long Chen was considering this, the Rank 9 Celestial, who had been trembling in terror, suddenly unleashed his aura, and his heavenly Darun surged into existence. He sent a punch at Long Chen's chest. A banging noise shook everyone's ears. The Rank 9 Celestial had a twisted smile. He had succeeded in attacking Long Chen. At such a close distance, there was no way he could have survived. Everyone jumped in shock from the sudden change, even Xia Yaoluo and Xia Yanchang. Then they found that Long Chen hadn't even twitched in the face of this powerful punch. He didn't even bat an eye. It was the Rank 9 Celestial's arm that had cracked and broken. His sinister smile vanished, replaced with terror. I originally didn't want to kill you, but you really just had to ask for it. Long Chen looked down and patted his chest a few times as if brushing off some dust. The Rank 9 Celestial was just about to try and flee, but as soon as he moved, Long Chen captured his throat and tossed him to the ground. The bricks blew apart, and the Rank 9 Celestial turned into a mass of flesh. He hacked up blood and broken fragments of his teeth. Simply smashing a Rank 9 Soul Transformation Celestial shouldn't have caused such injuries normally, but Long Chen had sealed his spiritual yuan when Long Chen had gripped his throat. If Long Chen really wanted it, He'd already be dead. Long Chen was as quick as lightning. His angle, timing, speed, they were all perfect. This person might be a rank 9 celestial, but his battle experience was clearly lacking. He had no ability to resist. After half crippling the rank 9 celestial, Long Chen turned to the other experts that had come with them. Long Chen waved a hand, and dozens of chains pierced through their backs and out their chests. These chains were like vipers and there was a hook at the end. If they wanted to extract them, they would pull out their insides as well. This was actually a weapon used by the corrupt path. Long Chen used them to chain these experts, but he didn't immediately kill them. They were screaming in pain, but they didn't die. Long Chen suddenly took out a carriage and jumped in. He coldly said to those people, If you want to die, kill yourself quickly. If you don't want to die, then listen to my orders and pull my carriage. Chapter 1527 Courting Crap Translator Born to be these experts wearing the Grand Han's robes were all pierced through by the chains. Long Chen tied the other ends of the chains to the front of the carriages, turning them into his carriage pulling animals, let alone others. Even Xia Yanchong and Xia Yaoluo were stunned by what Long Chen was doing. He wanted a bunch of soul transformation experts to pull his carriage bastard. A man can be killed but not humiliated roared a rank 7 celestial. He tried to escape the chain, but the hooks made it so he couldn't escape. Unless he split himself in two, he wouldn't be able to escape. That person had only just shouted when Long Chen tugged on his chain. That person immediately exploded. Although he was a soul transformation expert, no Yuan spirit flew out. It had also been killed. The strength of a person's Yuan spirit depended on their spiritual strength. Not everyone had such a powerful Yuan spirit. You're right. A man can't be humiliated. So I'll just kill you. Whoever wants to die, go ahead and say it. I will help you, said Long Chen indifferently. How dare you do this? You're going to cause the Grand Shia to be destroyed. Yet another expert roared, causing Long Chen to snort and touch another chain. That person also blew to bits. Long Chen sneered, the seed you planted is the fruit you get. When you used the support of a secret backer to run amok inside my Grand Shia, deliberately provoking us, bullying our commoners, why didn't you say that men could only be killed but not humiliated? Don't use such childish words to threaten me. I know the majority of you don't know the real details and are just being used. So I'll give you a chance to live. As for whether or not you want to grasp that chance, it's up to you. No one can trample over other people's dignity. Now you're reaping what you sowed. This is the karma of humiliating the Grand Xia's commoners through his conversation with Xia Yanchang. Long Chen had learned just how tyrannical these people had been in the Grand Xia. Although they hadn't killed people, trampling over someone's dignity was worse than killing them. They were deliberately provoking Grand Xia. The Grand Xia's emperor had seen that this was a sinister plot. 
so he intentionally ordered his people to endure until he figured out just who was really in the shadows scheming against the Grand Shia. However, enduring like this only made them more arrogant. The Grand Zaya's commoners were forced to avoid these people wherever they went. And now, if they didn't have something major to do, they wouldn't even go out. Just from how they had intentionally tried finding trouble with Mrs. Long, it could be seen how shamelessly arrogant they were. Now, Long Chen was simply returning it to them. Didn't they like bullying others? Then he would properly bully them today. Mush, shouted Long Chen. Long Chen was really viewing them as pack animals. This was too humiliating. Under their pull, the carriage slowly moved forward. When it passed the crushed bricks, an unpleasant sound rang out. These people included the large-faced Rank 9 Celestial. Just now, he had almost been killed by Long Chen. Now that his injuries had healed, he had a chain going through his body and had become Long Chen's slave. With his strength as a Rank 9 Celestial, he could easily escape these chains. But he didn't dare to. He knew that as soon as he had a bad thought, Long Chen would kill him. He lowered his head as much as possible, trying to make it so people wouldn't recognize him as he pulled the carriage. Seeing these people willingly pulling the carriage, Xia Yanchong sneered slightly. These people had acted so wildly arrogant before, but in front of Long Chen, they were like a herd of sheep. It really is a case of evil people being handled by evil people. Xia Yaoluo sighed upon seeing this. He, it's quite satisfying. I wish I could have done this a long time ago, but I have to listen to father, or he'd definitely beat me half to death. Xia Yanchong looked at Long Chen's actions with some envy. He cultivated the undefeatable Dao and he was supposed to be unconstrained and free. But that was only in theory. In truth, nobody was truly undefeatable. To Xia Yanchang, the Grand Xia's people and his family were his weak points. He couldn't possibly act without worrying about the consequences for them. So while Xia Yanchang had been infuriated and stifled, there was no way around it. However, Long Chen was different. He could be unconstrained. It could be said that Long Chen had greatly helped Xia Yanchong and the Grand Xia as a whole inventing their anger. Don't just lower your heads. Are you looking for coins to pick up? Here, each of you gets a gong, and you'll beat them as you pull. Don't forget to also shout our catchphrase, ordered Long Chen. He felt like just this wasn't enough. If he was going to do this, he was going to do it properly. In any case, he had plenty of storage rings and randomly searching through them resulted in him finding quite a few gongs. He gave each of them one. Their faces immediately turned green. Flames of rage blazed in their eyes, but they didn't dare to rebel. Unless they wanted to die, they had to endure. The Grand Han ancient nation is garbage. Only complete fools would shamelessly bully others blindly without knowing that they are being used. Chanting filled the air along with randomly beaten gongs. It was extremely painful to listen to, giving other people goosebumps. This was the slogan Long Chen told them to shout. They had to shout it while banging their gongs. Wrong, wrong. Make sure to synchronize the rhythm and the beat of your gongs. Yes, yes, just like that. Louder. Remember, the voice comes from the chest, not the throat. That way, your shouting will spread farther and will reverberate, making it especially nice to listen to. Don't shout like a bunch of wild ducks without the slightest beauty. Look at my hand and follow along. Long Chen took out a small duck and began to act as a conductor for them. As Long Chen messed around, more and more people arrived to watch. More of the Grand Han's experts also came out. Seeing Long Chen use the Grand Han's experts as animals to pull a carriage, they were infuriated. But the ones who attacked Long Chen ended up chained by Long Chen and joining their fellow countrymen. Anyone who resisted was killed Novaloon.com brother, isn't this bad? Seeing more and more people arriving, Xia Yaoluo couldn't help being worried. Long Chen seemed to be making this matter grow even bigger on purpose. Whether this is a blessing or disaster, we can't dodge it. I trust Long Chen. Since he agreed to help, he definitely has his own plans, said Xia Yanchang. If his identity is exposed, won't this end up implicating him? said Xia Yaoluo. More and more experts arrived and were forced to work for Long Chen. Fortunately, Long Chen had enough chains. After two hours, over 800 people were pulling his carriage. 
A portion of these people had attacked him and were captured, while some had come only to watch and pass on the news of this to others, but they were also captured. Another portion of people was very unyielding and refused to submit. They all died. Now, the Grand Zaya's capital was filled with chaos. Countless heads were looking outside the windows of the buildings lining the streets. They saw a cloaked man, whose face was blocked off, sitting on a carriage with hundreds of the Grand Han's people forced to work for him. None of the Grand Han's experts were able to stop him, seeing these people that had bullied them turn into beasts of burden. The Grand Zaya's commoners almost started dancing. There were also more people coming to watch. A long flood of people had appeared at the back of the carriage. They were the Grand Zaya's commoners. They thought that the Imperial family was finally fighting back. Some people were cheering as they vented their anger. Suddenly, the sky shook, and a figure descended in front of them. The world instantly became heavy. This person was very tall with long hair trailing over his shoulders. His nose was very sharp, while his eyes were like golden lanterns, having mysterious runes in them. Heavenly Tao energy circulated around him, and he was like an emperor amongst commoners. Brat, you're courting death. That man looked down on Long Chen from the sky. His voice contained undoubtable dignity. Long Chen stood on the carriage and stretched. He then unhurriedly said, Yes, I was really looking for crap, and now I've found a giant turd like you. The man's expression instantly sank, and a fierce pressure descended, causing heaven and earth to rumble. A palm crashed down toward Long Chen, and it grew larger until it covered an area of 300 meters. It possessed a strange locking power that made Long Chen unable to dodge. However, Long Chen smiled. As he waved his chains, startled cries rang out as the experts he was using to pull his carriage were thrown into the air and toward that palm image. Despicable. That person shouted and formed new hand seals. The palm image scattered and received them. He roared. Brat. Today, you're definitely dead. Courting death sounds like looking for crap. Chapter 1528 The Great General appears once more translator. Born to be that person roared furiously. Completely provoked by Long Chen. He wanted to kill him. But Long Chen actually used these people as shields. Making it so he couldn't attack. Despicable? Why does that sound so ironic when it comes from your mouth? Are you trying to tell me that none of you have any idea about what you are doing? Is being used to threaten the Grand Shia and bully weak commoners not despicable? Didn't you use the lives of the commoners to threaten the Grand Shia? The Grand Shia hasn't started a war not because they're cowardly, but because they don't want to involve so many innocent people. Taking advantage of that, you continue to bully and humiliate the Grand Shia, constantly testing the Grand Shia's bottom line. And now you use the word despicable to describe me? Is your head full of shit? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the capital, entering everyone's ears clearly. The chains in Long Chen's hand stiffened and it was like Long Chen was roasting marshmallows as he held the people in the air. He coldly said, I also bully others, but I don't bully the weak. If I have to bully someone, I bully the strong. So don't try to say that I'm the same as you. Bullshit. If you don't bully the weak, what are you doing right now? If you have any guts, you'll have a real fight with me. Lu Qingfeng, raged that person. Lu Qingfeng, the southern Xuan region's magnetic cloud mountain's most outstanding genius. For him to appear here in the Grand Xia is a pleasant surprise just as Lu Qingfeng said this. An old but hearty elder sighed emotionally. He's from the Huaian sect. Everyone looked over at the elder and saw his robes. The Huaian sect was spread throughout the Martial Heaven continent and was the clearest about the movements of the continent. As soon as this person inadvertently exposed his name, this elder was able to tell his origin. When the Huaian sect's elder said this, Liu Qingfeng's expression changed. He realized just how badly he had misspoken just now. Long Chen smiled. Clearly, this old fellow had already recognized him and had come to help. Liu Qingfeng. As an expert of the southern Xuan region, when did you become the dog of the Grand Han ancient nation? You're even wearing dog clothes. Is dressing up as a dog so satisfying demanded Long Chen. This Huaian sect elder had truly come at the right time. He had completely exposed the story of the Grand Han producing many experts out of nowhere. 
An uproar immediately rose following Long Chen and the elders' words. Too shameless. They all say that they're from the Grand Han whose fortunes have taken a miraculous turn. And it was fake. There's definitely no one so shameless in all of history. And there will probably be no one as shameless in the future. No wonder the Grand Han's people's faces are so big. It was because their faces were so thick that they ended up using their faces as shields. Sneers and taunts rang out from the Grand Xia's commoners, and all kinds of words flew over from their mouths. During this time, the Grand Han had just been intolerably arrogant. Now that they were exposed, curses came in their direction. Who are you? What qualifications do you have to speak to me? There's no one like you within the Grand Xia ancient nation, roared Liu Qingfang, killing intent blazing in his eyes. You're wrong. I am from the Grand Xia. All the Grand Xia's commoners can testify to that, said Long Chen. Cut the crap. I suppose you have some power. Do you dare to have a fair fight against me? Shouted Liu Qingfang. A fair fight? When you came to the Grand Xia to bully the weak, did you think of having a fair fight? However, I really am busy, so I'll accept. There is a place called the Nine Serenities Heavenly River Valley 10,000 miles from the city. We can fight there, said Long Chen. Fine, you have some gods. Then release them. Liu Qingfeng pointed at the experts caught in Long Chen's chains. I can, but you'll need to fulfill two of my conditions, said Long Chen. What two conditions? Long Chen raised one finger. One, all of them must kneel down to the Grand Xia's commoners and sincerely apologize. Impossible. Experts definitely won't lower their heads to the weak, roared Liu Qingfeng. That was too humiliating. Is that so? Then that's fine. If they won't lower their heads, then I can just make their heads fall. If you come out to play, then it comes with a price. Since you humiliated others, there will come a day when you are humiliated as well. Is trampling over other people's dignity fun? Then today, enjoy the feeling of having your dignity trampled by others. Isn't that what you meant when you demanded fairness from me? Long Chen smiled coldly. You dare, raged Liu Qingfeng his hair standing on end from fury. You're right. I really do dare. You, kneel down and apologize. Long Chen swung one of the chains, and an expert fell from the sky. I would never. Lightning flowed down the chain, killing that expert before he could finish speaking. He turned into blood mist, eliciting startled cries. Next, Long Chen brought another person to the ground. That person was pale because the scent of blood filled his nose. That was the blood of the expert who had just been slain. I, I, apologize. I should die. In front of countless gazes, that person knelt toward the commoners. You inferior bastard. That's not the conduct of a hero roared Liu Qingfeng. That person's submission was a slap in all their faces. Give it a rest. I never wanted to be some hero. Furthermore, does a group of rank 7 to even rank 9 celestials count as heroes when they come to some secular world nation to show off? I'm leaving. One expert after another was pulled out of the sky by Long Chen. And after the first person submitted, the others all knelt and apologized. Although they were geniuses, they weren't real experts. To put it frankly, they were eye-attracting geniuses with high cultivation bases but garbage combat abilities. At the same cultivation base and celestial rank, any warrior within the Dragonblood Legion could fight ten of them. Talent and cultivation bases didn't represent combat power, and there was also a definite difference between combat power and killing power. Combat power was more like destructive power, while killing power was purely for taking an opponent's life. These people had not gone through the baptism of bloody battles, so they could only be called talented trash. Long Chen estimated that they had been sent here to amuse themselves while experiencing the rest of the world. When it came to bullying others, they might appear impressively powerful, but when faced with death, they would only be able to show a moment's bravery before it ran out. They were simply trash. I apologize. I'm a bastard. I should die as atonement. As one expert after another knelt and admitted their mistakes, the Grand Xia's commoners cheered. The resentment that they had stifled for so long was finally released. Within the Imperial Palace, Xia Yuyang and Xia Yanchong's master were staring at this through a screen on the wall. Long Chen really is Long Chen. He doesn't make a move lightly, but when he does, it's a thunderous move. 
said Xia Yanchang's master. Ever since he had become acquainted with Long Chen, Long Chen's style had not changed. That little brat Yanchang actually went to find Long Chen without telling me. He knew what would happen from the start, said Xia Yuyang with a bit of dissatisfaction. Xia Yanchang had been the first to learn that Long Chen had arrived. After that, he ordered his attendant not to tell anyone else and then rushed to the Wine God Palace with Xia Yaoluo. By the time Xia Yuyang had learned of his arrival, Long Chen was already traveling in a mancarid carriage. Xia Yanchang actually hadn't reported any of this to him. Haha, <laughs> this child Yanchang just has that character, and he's been holding back his anger for so long. Last time he wanted to attack, you scolded him so harshly. Now that Long Chen has arrived, if he could still hold back, I would suspect that he was replaced with someone else. He calculated correctly, as long as it was Long Chen acting, you definitely wouldn't interfere, said Xia Yanchang's master. Xia Yuyang shook his head. If you don't think about the consequences of your actions, you won't have any big accomplishments that's not certain. For example, there's that example right there. Xia Yanchang's master pointed at Long Chen. Xia Yuyang was immediately unable to retort. His expression became odd. He sighed. Fine, up to them. My way of handling things isn't necessarily suitable for them. Don't worry. Don't you know what kind of person Long Chen is? Furthermore, other than Long Chen, you still have other trump cards. Xia Yuyang nodded with a smile. Although Long Chen's arrival was not within his plans, it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. They've apologized now. Shouldn't you let them go? Shouted Liu Qingfeng. Each of his words was spat out from between his teeth. His killing intent had reached a peak. Are you an idiot? Or deaf? Did you forget what I just said? I said you have to agree to two of my conditions. Apologizing was one, but there's another. I'll only release them when it's done, said Long Chen. Liu Qingfeng's fists creaked from how hard he clenched them. Flames almost spat out of his eyes, but Long Chen had truly said that. If looks could kill, Liu Qingfeng's sharp gaze would have ripped Long Chen into a million pieces. His hatred for him could no longer be described with words. The second condition is very simple. I'm rather lazy, and I don't want to walk. I want all of you to drag me toward the Nine Serenities Heavenly River Valley. After he said this, those experts didn't need any urging. They all summoned wings and flew while carrying Long Chen. Brat, if I don't kill you, I'll never call myself Liu Qingfeng again, roared Liu Qingfeng as he followed after them. Some rather powerful experts also followed from a distance. They all wanted to know who this fellow who refused to reveal his face was. Why did his voice sound a bit familiar? Those below soul transformation are not permitted to leave the city. You can watch from within the city. Xia Yuyang's voice rang throughout the capital. Light flew out of the imperial palace and formed a huge screen in the air from which it was possible to see Long Chen's carriage. Long Chen put away the chains, releasing the people. He also left the carriage and simply floated in the air. Speak. Who are you? I, Yu Qingfeng. Do not kill the nameless Long Chen slowly pulled back his hood, revealing his face. Liu Qingfeng's pupils shrank. At the same time, all the commoners who saw that face let out a cheer. The National Protector, Great General Long Chen. Chapter 1529 The Secret to Soul Transformation Translator. Born to be when they saw Long Chen's face. All the Grand Xia's people let out a cheer along with shouting the title he had been given back then. Last time when Long Chen had come to the Grand Xia, Xia Yuyan had bestowed Long Chen with an official position, naming him the Grand Xia National Protector, Great General Long Chen. Long Chen, Liu Qingfeng's pupils narrowed. He clearly recognized Long Chen. Of course, that wasn't anything to be curious about. As long as one's cultivation base had reached this level, only a few wouldn't recognize him. Although most people hadn't seen him in person, photographic jades of him had spread throughout the eastern Xuan region. His heroic appearance and those unchanging black robes were easily recognizable. I said that I often bullied others, but I only bully the strong. Now, are you convinced by that statement? asked Long Chen coldly. Cheering sounds came from the city. Now that they knew it was Long Chen saying these words, they were even more powerful. These words were too arrogant, so arrogant that it was impossible to retort. 
During this time, Long Chen had destroyed dozens of sects, the Pill Tower, and the Blood Kill Hall stronghold. Which one of those wasn't a shockingly huge affair? Just as Long Chen said, if he had to bully someone, he only bullied the strong. As for Liu Qingfeng and the others who had come to bully the Grand Xia's commoners, they were completely different from him. The people who had been chained by Long Chen and filled with hatred, now felt a burst of terror as they realized who he was. Who was Long Chen? He was someone who dared to smash the Blood Kill Hall's Killing God statue. He was a madman who dared to destroy the Pill Tower. To have come out with their lives after becoming enemies with him was an unimaginable blessing. HMPH. Long Chen. Don't be so arrogant. Rumor is that you have a divine item as protection. If it weren't for that divine item, trash like you would have long since been killed. Sneered Liu Qingfeng. Relying on external power instead of one's true power was nothing to be proud of. What a huge joke. Each treasure I have was gained through risking my life. On the other hand, the so-called heavenly geniuses like you were all gifted with treasures. That includes all the resources spent on you. They were all offered by your sects and families. According to your own words, that's all external power. If your reincarnation arts weren't so good, people like you would have long since been sent back to reincarnate. Sneered Long Chen. Liu Qingfeng's primal chaos manifestation surged violently. Long Chen, don't think that you can look down on others just because you've defeated a few soul transformation Empyreans. The power of Empyreans isn't something someone like you can comprehend. Liu Qingfeng's manifestation grew stronger and stronger, and it was like a huge ball of light. The aura of primal chaos shook the sky. He looked like an emperor, set off by his manifestation. He looked so imposing that others wouldn't dare to look at him. The pressure of the heavenly deos caused even Xia Yanchang, Xia Yaoluo, and a few other confident experts to retreat further. Although they had heard that celestials would have no choice but to submit in front of Empyreans, people were prideful and refused to accept that just based on the word of other people. However, now that they experienced that terrifying heavenly Tao pressure, they were all shocked. The current Liu Qingfen was no longer a person but a representative of the heavenly deos. He was completely irresistible. Xia Yaoluo was pale. For the first time, she felt some worry that Long Chen would be defeated. That heavenly Tao pressure was just that powerful, invoking a feeling of reverence and terror. Just how was someone supposed to fight that? No matter how strong a person was, just how were they supposed to fight against the very heavens? Don't worry, this isn't the first time Long Chen's fought against an Empyrean. He'll be fine said Xia Yanchang. He was also suppressed by the heavenly deos, but he cultivated the undefeatable Tao. His fear toward the heavenly deos was not as strong as others. Any experts who dared to go out of the city to watch the fight had reached at least the soul transformation realm and were confident in their power. But now, just Liu Qingfeng's aura made their hearts turn cold. They realized that they were nothing more than frogs at the bottom of a well. Empyreans were definitely not an existence they could imagine. Even in the city, 10,000 miles away, the cultivator shivered in the face of this pressure. On the other hand, ordinary people didn't sense much because they weren't celestials. They just watched calmly. Empyreans are even more frightening than we thought. Inside the palace, Xia Yuang sighed. They were life star experts, but in front of Empyreans, they were so powerless. This had nothing to do with cultivation base. The suppression of the heavenly deos was even stronger. Xia Yanchang's master nodded along. He stared closely at Long Chen. Long Chen was still staring at Liu Qingfen calmly. The suppression of the heavenly deos could make celestials quiver. But he wasn't a celestial. So he didn't sense it. It just so happens that I want to experience the difference between you and the Empyreans I've spanked. Said Long Chen. The primal chaos manifestation behind Liu Qingfeng shook, and his voice rumbled along with the world. That's because the Empyreans you beat had just broken through to soul transformation. They couldn't even count as having reached the first Heaven stage. But I have already reached the second Heaven stage and condensed my Yuan spirit. Those fellows you encountered before cannot compare to me. Liu Qingfeng suddenly transformed into a ray of light shooting at Long Chen. The space between his eyebrows shone brightly as he let out a punch at Long Chen. A brilliant light exploded from his fist as he unleashed it. 
It was blinding. There was a sphere of light around his fist with runes revolving within it. The space around his fist crumbled. This was clearly a powerful magical art. But Liu Qingfeng didn't have to chant or form any hand seals. He didn't even seem to make any preparations before unleashing it. Long Chen was surprised. He had fought against Empyreans multiple times. But this was his first time encountering such a thing. He also sent out a punch. Their two fists collided. And the sphere of light around Liu Qingfeng's fist exploded. The huge power blew Long Chen far into the distance. The runes within the sphere seemed to come to life shooting at him like arrows. Long Chen's fists danced as he smashed the runes to bits, but a few of them passed through his blockade and struck him in the shoulder, leaving several bloody holes. Not bad. Long Chen's expression didn't change. He had intentionally let some of those runes get past to test their power. However, seeing him injured right at the start caused Xia Yaoluo to let out a startled cry. Xia Yanchong was also shocked. He hadn't expected Liu Qingfeng to be so powerful, but he comforted his sister. Don't worry, Long Chen still hasn't started fighting for real. His divine ring hasn't appeared. Xia Yaoluo's expression improved slightly upon hearing that. HMPH, this is the number one expert of the Eastern Xuan region's junior generation? What an empty title. In front of me, you're just trash, sneered Liu Qingfeng. The light between his eyebrows glowed brightly. Within it was a figure that was constantly flashing. Liu Qingfeng waved his hand, and eight golden spears condensed behind him. Each of them was huge. All their sharp tips were pointed at the distant Long Chen. Now do you know the difference between us? I've already condensed a Yuan spirit and am a true soul transformation expert. Empyreans are different from Celestials. For Celestials, condensing a Yuan spirit is like a second life. They can survive even if their physical bodies are destroyed, and their Yuan spirits even have a bit of power to fight. But Empyreans can use their Yuan spirits to form hand seals for their true body to unleash magical arts. The two work together during combat. How will you fight me now? Liu Qingfeng laughed coldly. The eight huge golden spears shot toward Long Chen. The eight spears caused the sky to crumble as they pierced through it. This was yet another powerful magical art and its power was even greater than the previous one. So that's the case. So that's the strongest point of the soul transformation realm. Long Chen looked at the light coming from Liu Qingfeng's forehead. Within it, he finally saw a tiny figure constantly forming hand seals. As it made hand seals, the eight spears blazed with light. Divine Ring A five-colored divine ring appeared in the air behind Long Chen as he smashed the first spear with his fist. The spear exploded. Long Chen punched seven more times, destroying the rest of the spears. He had just destroyed the spears when a crescent blade flew by his neck, almost cutting his head off. How fast! Long Chen's expression changed as he looked into the distance with a touch of killing intent in his eyes. Fast? This isn't fast yet. I'll let you see what is true pow. Just as Liu Qingfeng was sneering at him, Long Chen vanished and a large hand slapped across Liu Qingfeng's face. Sending him flying. Idiot. I wasn't talking about you. Long Chen suddenly took out Evil Moon. And five stars appeared in his eyes. Chapter 1530 Just a bit off translator. Born to be at first. It had looked like Long Chen was at an absolute disadvantage against Liu Qingfeng. Liu Qingfeng unleashed powerful magical arts in an instant. And that crescent blade of his had almost cut Long Chen's head off. But in the blink of an eye. Long Chen had appeared in front of him and sent him flying with a slap, shocking everyone. Furthermore, it was a mystery what Long Chen was referring to when he said how fast. No one knew what he was talking about. I didn't even manage to test how strong you are, but there's no time for that. Long Chen suddenly let out a thunderous roar. It was like the roar of a dragon, shaking the heavens. The divine ring behind him rapidly spun, and five stars revolved in his eyes. With the green dragon scales covering his body, he was like an infuriated devil god. Evil Moon slashed out like a bolt of lightning at Liu Qingfeng while he was still in the midst of flying back. Black ripples spread through the air, and a dense killing intent locked onto him. Liu Qingfeng was completely taken by surprise. He had been suppressing Long Chen so hard just now, but things had reversed in an instant. While he was still caught off guard, Long Chen had unleashed such a powerful attack. 
Magnetic light protection. Yin and Yang together. Sensing this powerful sensation of death. Liu Qingfeng hastily formed hand seals. Summoning a set of copper symbols. There was an image on each symbol. One black and one white. They looked to be a kind of fish. The small light figure on his head also formed hasty hand seals. In a flash, the energy of heaven and earth gathered toward the symbols. These symbols were called the yin-yang dual symbols, and they were incredibly powerful ancestral items. Through yin and yang, they possessed a great magnetic power. They could combine the yin and yang energies of the world. So what if you have a divine item? In front of me, it's still not enough, shouted Liu Qingfeng. A huge whirlpool of black and white light appeared in front of him. The two symbols crashed together. The huge whirlpool exploded, and two yin and yang fish smashed toward Long Chen. Long Chen's black saber image struck the two fish and exploded. The ground around them cracked apart, and dust surged into the sky. Liu Qingfeng had managed to block Long Chen's attack, but he was appalled. These ancestral items could unleash great power in his hands but he had almost coughed up blood from that exchange. He was completely shocked by Long Chen's power. Just as he was trying to stabilize himself and see if Long Chen had been injured or not, a multicolored light filled the world. A lightning dragon and a flame dragon roared. One was made of golden flames, while the other was made of five-colored lightning. They enveloped him. This is, Liu Qingfeng's expression sank. He didn't recognize the heaven incinerating flame but he noticed the five-colored lightning. Sensing a chilling threat from the five-colored lightning, Liu Qingfeng knew he couldn't allow it to touch him. Yin and Yang become one. Heaven and Earth merge. The sun and moon shine together. Liu Qingfeng threw his symbols into the air and formed rapid hand seals as he chanted. The small figure of light on his head followed his exact movements. Their voices came together, rumbling through heaven and earth. Light exploded from the symbols forming a huge defensive sphere around him. The sphere of light had countless black and white fish swimming over it, and it rapidly grew stronger as it absorbed more energy from the world. Lai Long and Huo Long wrapped around the sphere, wanting to crush it, but the endless fish were rapidly absorbing energy from the world. Although Lai Long and Huo Long were using their full power, the sphere continued to grow larger. HMPH, an insignificant trick. I would be embarrassed to show such a thing off, mocked Liu Qingfeng. Break. The two dragons were blown away as the sphere exploded. They were blown into runes. Didn't I already say that in front of me? You're just trash. Liu Qingfeng was sneering when a huge saber image pierced into the sky. A terrifying pressure caused the world to turn still. Split the heavens five. Evil moon hacked down. The huge saber image blew apart the clouds in the sky. The previous attack was a preparation for this. Long Chen had no time to test Liu Qingfeng's power. The huge saber image was like the blade of a death god cutting through all restrictions or laws. This was Long Chen's full strength attack. Liu Qingfeng was shocked. Now he realized that Long Chen's previous attack had just been to stall for time for this move. He then spat out a mouthful of blood. The two symbols smashed together once more and grew rapidly becoming a huge mountain in front of him. Boom. Long Chen's saber struck the huge symbols. They were cut in two, and the saber image continued onward to Liu Qingfeng. When the symbols were broken, Liu Qingfeng coughed up blood and let out a pained roar. His soul was injured, as it was intimately connected to his ancestral items. Having suffered such a backlash, he lost any ability to defend. Long Chen was delighted, but just at that moment, a golden spear pierced through the void, breaking his attack. It was a divine item. Furthermore, it was not unfamiliar to Long Chen. He had been attacked by it back when he had been trapped at the Sha family. Fuck. These bastards are really fast. Cursed Long Chen. When he had been testing Liu Qingfeng and said that something was too fast. He wasn't talking about Liu Qingfeng's attacks but these people. He had sensed danger approaching. As well as Evil Moon's warning. That was why he had been forced to attack without testing Liu Qingfeng's power. Regretfully, he had been a bit too slow. Not being able to kill him made Long Chen sigh in vexation. Suddenly, Long Chen slashed the air in the sky. A huge light barrier appeared where he had struck. One that was covering the world. But as a result of his slash, a huge hole appeared in the barrier. And Long Chen sped through it. Pill Valley Idiots. 
Did you think I would fall for the same thing twice? Sneered Long Chen as he flew out. Over ten figures appeared in the sky, and one of them was holding a diagram. It was Pill Valley's divine item, the Brahma divine diagram. Last time, he had fallen for their trap. He had been sent into the Brahma divine diagram's world without even realizing it and almost died. Now that they tried the same thing, he immediately launched an attack, striking it while its divine energy was at its weakest and breaking out of the seal. Long Chen, you bastard, die. A voice filled with rancor rang out. A magical staff waved through the air, and a huge net enveloped Long Chen. It was Ji Yuneo. If an idiot like you hasn't died, why should I? Sneered Long Chen, slashing Evil Moon out. Evil Moon's black dragon marks lit up slightly, and it easily cut through the net. Long Chen was a bit surprised. He clearly sensed that Chi Yuneo's violet gold soul devouring staff's power had weakened from last time. Was this the backlash of having its karmic luck dissipate? This sudden change caught everyone else off guard. In just these few exchanges, the power of the divine items made them feel minuscule like ants. They didn't even dare to move. Whether it was the experts watching in the distance or the commoners in the city, they were all still. Under the power of divine items, they found it difficult to even blink. You idiots are quite fast, but it's still not enough to kill me. Just calmly wait for me. I'll get back everything you owe me sooner or later. Long Chen's gaze swept over them. Black Chi enveloped Long Chen, and his figure became indistinct as Evil Moon brought him away. Even the Brahma Divine Diagram was not able to stop them any longer. Long Chen, if you dare to leave, I will kill everyone in the Grand Shia Ancient Nation, shouted Chi Yuneo. Enveloped by the Black Chi, Long Chen looked coldly at Chi Yuneo and shook his head. If that's your choice, then I can express my regret. If you do that, I won't be able to kill you. After saying that, he vanished, escaping from all these experts just like that. This is all because of the Grand Shia ancient nation. The Grand Shia must pay the price. Liu Qingfeng's expression sank. He flew in front of the capital, and with a cold shout, a huge runic blade slashed toward the city walls. Chapter 1531 The High Priest Interferes Translator Born to be bastard. Do you think there's no one who can stand up against you in the Grand Shia Shia Yanchang raged? This Liu Qingfen was actually casting his anger on the Grand Shia after having suffered at Long Chen's hands. Shia Yanchang was about to attack, while within the palace, Shia Yuyang had a golden seal in his hand, ready to activate the Grand Formation. However, before the two of them could do anything, the sky split apart, and a huge butcher's blade slashed down at Liu Qingfeng. Liu Qingfeng's attack was shattered by the butcher blade, and he sent tumbling into the distance coughing up blood wretchedly. Unable to beat Long Chen, you cast your anger on the innocent commoners. Long Chen said you were trash, but he overestimated you. You're worse than trash. A fat figure with a huge butcher knife appeared. Tu Kian Chang seemed bloodthirsty, and he glared at Liu Qingfeng, the fierce Yang butcher. Tu Kian Chang. Startled cries rang out as people recognized this figure whose name had once shaken the eastern Xuan region a figure who had slain countless ancient race experts, becoming the most famous existence of his time, wielding a butcher's blade that was even larger than he was. Liu Qianchang pointed at the people before him. If you want to kill Long Chen, no one will bother you. But if you try to use the Grand Xia's commoners to threaten Long Chen, don't blame me for being merciless with my butcher's blade. Arrogance. Who do you think you are? Chi Yuneo didn't recognize Tu Kian Shang. Although he had been a sect master, he wasn't very old, and he was someone who didn't care about old legends. Seeing a random fatty appear in front of him, he waved his staff, and divine light lit up the sky, transforming into a huge tiger that pounced at Tu Kian Shang. Tu Kian Shang suddenly took out a jug of wine and gulped a few mouthfuls of it. After tossing it aside, People saw that his eyes had turned completely red. He slashed the tiger with his butcher's blade. Boom. The tiger exploded. And the violet gold soul devouring staff in Chi Yuneo's hand trembled. How is that possible? He used mortal power against divine energy. Chi Yuneo was shocked. His arm had almost broken from that exchange. Be careful everyone. 
The wine god palace's disciples have a secret art that can allow them to draw on the blessing of their wine god while they're in a drunken state. They can temporarily gain some divine power, warned a white-haired elder who had come with Chi Yuneo and the others. Most of these people were familiar faces to Long Chen. There was the Sha family head, the Pen race's leader, and the flame divine palace's vice palace master. There were only six people that he didn't recognize. The rest were people who had attacked in the Sha family. At this time, the vice palace master was standing behind the white-haired elder. The Brahma divine diagram, which he had been in control of last time, was now in the white-haired elder's hands. This white-haired elder was the flame divine palace's master. As soon as he had received news that Long Chen had appeared in the Grand Shia ancient nation, he had not hesitated to use a huge amount of energy to activate the Brahma Divine Diagram and tear through the void to reach here. He didn't even bother with transportation formations. In the end, Long Chen still got away. But as the palace master, he had great experience and immediately recognized Tu Kian Chang's current state. At this time, Tu Kian Chang began a fight with a different expert with a sword. That sword was also a divine item. And after a brief exchange, both sides retreated, having tied. However, when they retreated, everyone saw that there was a fist-sized nick in Tu Kian Chang's blade. Well, after all, that's not a divine item. No matter how strong an ancestral item is, it can't contend against divine items. The elder from the Huaian sect sighed with pity. It wasn't that Tu Kian Chang wasn't strong enough but that he didn't have a divine item. Naturally. He was at a disadvantage. Either scram, or die. Chi Yuneo came flying over with the violet gold soul devouring staff, and divine light was blazing from its head. He had activated all its power. If Tu Kian Chang refused to dodge, then with his already damaged butcher's blade, he might very well just be killed with this one attack. After all, the violet gold soul devouring staff's power was not something an ordinary divine item could compare to. Suddenly, the sky trembled, and a ray of light shot out from deep within the city. It instantly reached in front of Tu Kian Chang and struck Chi Yuneo's staff. A powerful explosion rocked the sky. Chi Yuneo's arms exploded, while the violet gold soul devouring staff shot far into the distance due to that ray of light. Chi Yuneo's body became covered with cracks, and he coughed up three mouthfuls of blood before fainting, falling from the air. Everyone including the palace master, was shocked. That was especially true when they saw what the ray of light was. It was not a warhammer. It was not a divine spear. It was a very small, almost imperceptible object. It was emerald green, and it floated in the air after blowing away the staff. It, it was a small wine cup. Yes, a small wine cup. It had no divine presence to it, simply an ordinary wine cup. However, it had sent the famous violet gold soul devouring staff flying, and it wasn't damaged in the slightest. Young people shouldn't be so angry. Why must you fight to the point of either you die or I die? Life is precious, and the Tao is boundless. Just fighting to cross the Tao is an endless journey. So why must you waste time on such nonsensical struggles? Why not drink a cup of wine and relax? An aged voice rang out. It was calm, without the slightest anger and sounded like the advice of a kind elder, the wine god palace's high priest, the palace master and the other's expressions all changed, perhaps only the wine god palace's high priest had the ability to send a divine item flying with an empty cup, senior high priest, this matter has nothing to do with the wine god palace, said the flame divine palace's palace master, before the high priest could reply, to Kian Chang cursed, don't spout bullshit, how is it not related to the wine god palace? If it weren't for your pill valley supporting those brats from the Grand Han, would they be so arrogant as to come bully the Grand Shia? You were clearly testing the attitude of the wine god palace, and now, you've succeeded. We'll express our attitude right here and now. Although we do not interfere in the struggles of the world, we are not so easily bullied. Perhaps others might be afraid of pill valley, but the wine god palace is not. Although we only have 3,000 true disciples, if Pill Valley wants to play, then we'll properly play with you. The Huaian sect's elder smiled. He didn't know why Pill Valley would be so foolish as to antagonize everyone. Now they had done it. 
Even the wine god palace had been provoked by them. High priest, is this the attitude of your wine god palace? Demanded the flame divine palace's palace master coldly. The attitude of any of my disciples is the attitude of my wine god palace. Go back and tell you Ziyuan that the current era is not the old era. No one can control it. If anyone tries, no matter what support they have, the only conclusion will be a miserable death, said the high priest lightly. But his position was clear. HMPH, the future of my pill valley is not for you to worry about. You should worry about yourselves instead, sneered the palace master. The high priest did not get angry, instead calmly saying, What is there for us to worry about? We're just a bunch of bored people who drink until we sleep. We live in the moment. But if anyone tries to prevent our peace, we'll have no choice but to fight. You should know. Sometimes drunkards don't even know what they'll do when they're drunk. There's no need for Pill Valley to intentionally antagonize me or test the bottom line of the Wine God Palace. If I wanted to kill you, even if you have the Brahma Divine Diagram, you wouldn't have any chance to escape. That's all I have to say. If you refuse to accept that, then don't blame me for bullying the weak. The high priest's voice might be calm, but each of his words had power. They revealed his great confidence, shocking others. Each word was like a hammer, striking them in their hearts. Even with the Brahma Divine Diagram, it would be impossible to escape. The Flame Divine Palace's palace master's expression changed several times, but in the end, he didn't dare to say anything. Waving his hand, he led his people away. So the Grand Han was supported by Pill Valley. No wonder they were so arrogant. Brothers, break the legs of all these dogs of the Grand Han and toss them out of the Grand Shia. Don't let these people stain our home any longer. The Flame Divine Palace's group left along with Liu Qingfeng, but the others were ignored, resulting in the Grand Xia's people turning on them. The Grand Xia's experts were like a flood, attacking those people who were supposedly from the Grand Han but had been invited from other regions. If they didn't fight back, then they had their legs broken at most, but those who resisted were beaten until they were dead. One person loudly shouted, break all their legs, especially their third leg, make sure to break it into 18 pieces, or I won't be able to resolve my resentment. Novaloon.com another person asked, then what about the women? It was chaos as those experts feigning they were from the Grand Han were beaten away. Two Kian Chang returned to the Wine God Palace. After arriving in front of the high priest, he stared at his butcher's blade with an aggrieved expression. Long Chen was right. If you could master the balance between hard and soft power, then just reaching 30% in that soft power would have kept your blade intact. Now it's too late, said the high priest. What do we do now? Should we eliminate them? Looking at his blade, killing intent rose into Kian Chang's heart. We still need to watch from the side. The great era is silently descending. A storm is coming. Heavenly geniuses will rise in this chaotic era, and it's still impossible to tell who will rise and who will drown. Pill Valley isn't so foolish. Their motives are unfathomable as they intentionally draw more chaos to the mix. The situation still isn't clear. So for now, it's best not to make any rash moves. We also have no need to do such a thing. We just need to watch Long Chen and how he disrupts things. The high priest raised his wine cup with a smile. He had vaguely sensed something about Long Chen. Chapter 1532 Swallow the Heavens Devour the Earth Translator Born to be what are you thinking? Don't tell me you're going to jump off a cliff. Long Chen stood on the precipice of a cliff. A bottomless pit below him. He was looking down absent-mindedly. Evil Moon finally spoke. Long Chen had been brought here by Evil Moon to escape their encirclement. It had been over two hours, and Long Chen had simply been standing there like a stone statue. Even Evil Moon became curious. Evil Moon, if I'm surrounded by powerful enemies again, don't save me. Looking at the pit below him, Long Chen made his resolve. Are you crazy? If I didn't bring you away, you'd have definitely died, said Evil Moon. It didn't know if Long Chen had gone crazy to say such a brainless thing. Long Chen shook his head. You don't understand. Right now, I'm growing too dependent on your power. I am losing confidence in myself, and that will affect my day of heart. I want to become an expert, a true expert. I can't depend on others. I can only rely on myself. 
with you present, my sense of danger will become slow, and fleeing as soon as I encounter experts will be a blow to my confidence. Is that a joke? Those people were two major realms above you and had divine items. Without me, what are you going to use to fight them? Demanded Evil Moon. You wouldn't understand. To sum it up, I am fated to be courting death all the time. If I don't court death now, death will creep up on even faster in the future. Ever since I started cultivating the nine-star hegemon body art, my fate was practically set in stone. Right now, I am a caterpillar, and if I want to become a butterfly, I have to endure the pain of the cocoon. During this time, no one can help, and if anyone does, it would just be harming me. If a caterpillar does not go through the struggle of the cocoon, it will never become a butterfly. If someone cuts the cocoon and lets the caterpillar out of it, without having gone through that struggle, it won't know how to fly. In the end, the caterpillar will simply die, never able to spread its wings. I am the same. So starting today, I definitely won't run. Even if I am in desperate straits, don't save me, said Long Chen. It seems like there's a bit of logic in your words, but if you die, you'll lose everything. How will you become a butterfly then? Asked Evil Moon. It's because my goals are very big. If I am unable to even handle the danger before me, how will I face the even greater dangers in the future? After having fled these times, I can clearly sense the power of the nine-star hegemon body art dropping. It's also forming a kind of rejection to me, said Long Chen with a grave expression. He truly sensed the nine-star hegemon body art's power weakening. Furthermore, he himself was growing indecisive. He no longer had his absolute confidence to face the whole world. He had to find that confidence again, and the first step was to cut off all paths of retreat and give up his dependence on Evil Moon. Of course, he wouldn't be so foolish as to not use its divine power. It was simply that he wouldn't choose to run. Either he fought to the death or killed his opponent. He had to maintain that sharpness to press forward regardless. Fine. I suppose we can count as having fought shoulder to shoulder. I will respect your dignity, said Evil Moon. Thank you. Speaking of which, have you really not heard of the nine-star hegemon body art? Asked Long Chen. No, I've never heard of it. But, Evil Moon seemed to be thinking. But what asked Long Chen hastily? But, fuck, it seems I'm missing a few of my memories. I've remembered something, but also can't remember it. It was definitely done by that bastard Yun Shang cursed Evil Moon. It broke into curses for Sovereign Yun Shang once more. After cursing for a while, its anger was vented a bit, and it said, Your cultivation technique is very unorthodox. Such a cultivation technique is unique. It doesn't seem like the cultivation technique of the human race, nor of the magical beast race, Shuen beast race, blood race, barbarian race, ghost race, devil race. Spirit race. Fuck. My head hurts. Damn it. There are even more memories missing than I thought. That bastard Yun Shang Evil Moon once more broke into curses after listing hundreds of different races. Evil Moon. You actually know this many races? Can you explain them to me? Don't ask me about those. I'm missing a portion of my memories. And what you're asking me is in that missing piece. If I try to forcibly recall them, it hurts. Shouted Evil Moon painfully. Long Chen could only shut his mouth when it came to this. After a while, Evil Moon's pain faded, but Long Chen didn't bring it up again. However, for Evil Moon to list so many races shocked Long Chen. He hadn't expected there to be so many races in this world. Even in the Martial Heaven continent, what he had seen was just the tiniest corner of it. This world was truly enormous. Although Long Chen didn't know whether Evil Moon even had a head or brain. It seemed mentioning this would give it a headache regardless, so he didn't bring it up. Long Chen sank into thought. Pill Valley was after him. Last time, after he had tried to soul sark that disciple of Heavenly Fate Island, he had exchanged blows with a mysterious elder. That made him feel like there was even more danger than he thought. The curious thing was, on his way back to the Central Plains, on his path to the Grand Han, everything had gone smoothly. He hadn't fallen into any traps. After considering this from multiple angles, he concluded that it was very likely due to Evil Moon, and that Heavenly Fate Island was unable to directly calculate anything about him. 
they had to read other people's fate lines to determine the general possibility of where he would be. As for his trip to the Grand Shia, it was only after he had revealed his face and fought against Liu Qingfeng that Pill Valley's experts had come. Furthermore, there had been no one from Heavenly Fate Island. That meant that they hadn't known he would be there. That was because he hadn't brought any direct blessing or disaster to the Grand Shia upon going there. So Heavenly Fate Island hadn't been able to find that he would go there. In other words, as long as his goal wasn't very obvious, it would be very difficult for Heavenly Fate Island to calculate where he would be based on the flow of fate of his possible targets. It seems I'll have to calm down a bit. I'll first raise my cultivation base. I don't know when I'll finally be able to reach soul transformation. Sighed Long Chen as he tossed a pill in his mouth. Although he had won in his fight against Liu Qingfang, that didn't make him excited. Instead, he was solemn. Once Empyreans reached soul transformation and fully condensed their Yuan spirits, their Yuan spirit would help them fight, allowing them to unleash magical arts while the main body fought. That was the most frightening aspect of soul transformation Empyreans. In that fight, he had felt like he was fighting two people at once. Although on the surface it looked like Liu Qingfen was weak as he had almost been killed, that was because he hadn't had a divine item to protect himself. If he had, he would have been able to block Long Chen's full strength attack, or even if he was injured, his Yuan spirit would take the place of his main body to form hand seals and fight back. To defeat him would have been much more difficult. Most importantly, although he was an Empyrean, Liu Qingfeng did not possess as frightening a background as Sha Guanggayan, Pen Wanshang, or Yi Qingkuang. After such a long time, the three of them should have already solidified their cultivation bases and condensed their Yuan spirits. Their power level would have completely transformed from the last time Long Chen fought them. His own cultivation base was rising too slowly, and he could only rely on medicinal pills. Although he had plenty of them, he digested them too slowly. He ended up crushing the few in his hands just to vent. Long Chen, are you not worried about your foundation growing unsteady if you eat medicinal pills like this? Asked Devil Moon. That's not something I have to worry about. Even if I ate a giant vat of pills a day, I would be fine. It just takes me too long to digest them. Sighed Long Chen. This was the most irritating point of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. After reaching the 10th heaven stage, the amount of energy required to advance again was ridiculous. He was eating medicinal pills every day and was still not seeing much progress. He was as slow as a snail, but there was no way around it. Long Chen, I have a divine ability in my memories called Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth. It's a secret art of my dark evil dragon race. Do you want to learn it? Asked Devil Moon. A divine ability called Swallow the Heavens. Devour the earth? You'll teach it to me. Long Chen was surprised. Yes, I feel like you aren't bad. After considering it, I've decided I won't mind teaching it to you. My dark evil dragon race relies on devouring other beasts to advance, and we'll even devour members of our own race. That's why we need a powerful devouring ability to digest the energy of our opponents. If you learned it, it would be greatly beneficial to your digestion of medicinal pills. However, this divine ability is unique to the dark evil dragon race. I can't guarantee that you're capable of using it, said Evil Moon. That's fine. If I really can learn it, I will owe you a favor, promised Long Chen. Don't need it. What am I supposed to do with a favor from you? With your ability to court death, no lives would be enough. I'm teaching you it for myself. On the off chance that you manage to live, my seal will be undone and I'll regain my freedom, said Evil Moon. On the off chance, you have this little confidence in me. Long Chen was speechless. I'm only confident in your ability to court death. As for your ability to stay alive, I have no confidence in that, said Evil Moon. Fine, up to you. Hurry and teach me this swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability, said Long Chen expectantly. Chapter 1533 A Mutation Translator Born to be Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood while sitting at the cliffside. That blood contained many broken bits of his internal organs. He didn't even remember how many times this had happened now. The evil dragon races swallow the heavens. 
Devour the Earth Divine Ability was too difficult to train in Navaloon.com according to Evil Moon. He needed to condense 81 divine runes inside his stomach. These runes were things he had never seen before, and each of them possessed great destructive power. An explosion from one of them could shatter a mountain. Fortunately, Long Chen's physical body was strong enough. He had these runes slowly plaster themselves to the lining of his stomach. That was no problem. Unfortunately, when he activated the runes, his stomach would instantly explode. If it was anyone else, they'd have long since turned to dust. However, he was still heavily injured each time. If it weren't for the support of the world trees, Long Chen would have long since given up. This was not a technique for a human. It seems you really won't be able to learn it. After all, it's a divine ability of my dark evil dragon race. Although you possess dragon blood, you don't possess dark energy. Just relying on brute force to condense the formation is essentially impossible, said Evil Moon after Long Chen failed multiple times. It truly did seem a bit crazy for a human to cultivate a divine ability of the evil dragon race. Long Chen didn't reply. He was constantly attempting to form the formation, but whenever it formed, it would explode violently, and there was no way for his stomach to bear that power. Ah, I'm so stupid. Long Chen suddenly clapped his leg. He waved his hand, and Lai Long appeared before him. After that, he formed hand seals, and divine runes began to form in the air. What are you doing? asked Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't reply. He continued forming hand seals, and 81 divine runes quickly formed in the air. It's useless. When these runes are gathered together, without dark energy as a mediator, they'll immediately explode, said Evil Moon. Ignoring Evil Moon's advice, Long Chen had Lai Long devour those divine runes at the exact instant that they gathered together. For now, I won't create the formation. I'll have Lai Long use its destructive power to reduce the power of these runes until they only have a trace of their power. That way, when I absorb them into my body and condense the formation, their power won't be so great, and my body will be able to handle it, said Long Chen. That's one option. But even if you can pull it off, such a weak formation will be useless. 99% of its effectiveness will be lost. There's no way around it. These runes come from my soul. So after condensing the formation, I can nourish them with my soul. Right now, they're too berserk and refuse to listen. I'll need to weaken them and try again. Bang. At this moment, an explosive sound came from Lai Long's mouth. Lai Long opened its mouth and Long Chen was speechless. The divine runes had been destroyed already. Lai Long transformed into a foot-long dragon that wrapped around Long Chen's wrist, gently rubbing his arm with its head. It's fine. It's not your fault. We have no experience. We just have to try a few more times, comforted Long Chen. Due to not controlling its thunder force perfectly while suppressing the divine runes, Lai Long had caused the divine runes to explode. This process was very difficult to pull off, especially toward the end. As the power of the divine runes weakened, Lai Long also needed to weaken its own power, or if their power was unbalanced, it would cause the runes to be destroyed again. From the start, Long Chen hadn't expected to succeed in one try. With his bad luck, he never hoped to succeed that easily. As expected, his experience was accurate. He failed seven times in a row but he wasn't shaken at all. He persevered until Lai Long slowly opened its mouth, revealing a ball of 81 dim divine runes. Long Chen sighed with relief. He had finally succeeded. However, this was just one of the steps. He still had no assurance in really learning the divine ability. The divine runes, which had been shining brightly and releasing shocking divine power, were now dim. Long Chen cautiously swallowed the ball of runes and didn't immediately start once they were in his stomach. It was only after an incense stick's worth of time that he sent his spiritual strength into them to slowly paste them onto the lining of his stomach. I've done everything I can. Whether or not this is possible will be seen now. Long Chen clenched his teeth, and his spiritual strength spread through the divine runes, linking them into a formation. The divine runes lit up and his internal organs trembled. The 81 divine runes split up and covered all his internal organs. They were fracturing over and over. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. Countless divine runes filled his insides. 
What what's going on? Evil Moon was shocked. Shouldn't I be asking you that? Demanded Long Chen. I get it. Because you don't have the body of an evil dragon. There's been a mutation in the swallow the heavens. Devour the earth divine ability or perhaps. No. Nothing. Evil Moon suddenly shut its mouth. It had been about to say that the mutation was because of Long Chen's cultivation technique. However, it was impossible to say anything for sure. So it decided not to randomly guess. The runes inside Long Chen's body were swimming around his organs. They weren't under his control at all and quickly wrapped around his organs. Suddenly, Long Chen's body began to wither. This sudden change made Long Chen jump in fright. He felt like the energy inside his organs had been sucked dry. Just as he was shocked and didn't know what was going on, endless life energy flowed out of the primal chaos space and poured into his organs. The runes lit up once more, greedily devouring the life energy. The dim runes began to shine even brighter. Are they parasitic? Long Chen shivered. He felt like these divine runes were more like leeches, sucking away his energy. No, they're not like that. These divine runes were condensed by you, and they'll work for you. This mutation in Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth has surpassed my understanding. However, I'm sure that the strengthening of the divine runes in your body is a good thing. It will make your internal organs even stronger. You'll also be able to use even more power, said Evil Moon. There's such a thing. Long Chen was startled. Of course, both humans and beasts have weak insides. That's why they have their physical body to protect them. While it looks like you are able to unleash 100% of your power, you really are only capable of releasing 80% of it. Perhaps you don't even know that. The reason is that if you did unleash 100% of your power, even before you attacked your opponent, your internal organs would be crushed. That's why you instinctively only use as much energy as your internal organs can bear. But now that they're strengthening, the amount of power you can unleash will also increase. Even your defensive strength will increase. This is definitely a good thing, said Evil Moon. The runes in Long Chen's body grew brighter, but he found that these runes seemed to have merged together with his organs. As they absorbed more life energy, they constantly strengthened. After two hours, Long Chen's internal organs were clear, and it was possible to see countless runes revolving within. They had formed a powerful formation. Long Chen, the Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth Divine Ability has undergone a huge mutation within you. I guess that your devouring power is ten times greater than my evil dragon race. Do you want me to transmit a secret art to you? You won't even need to fight any longer. As long as you find someone displeasing to the eye, you can devour them in one gulp, said Evil Moon, a bit moved by this change. It had to be known that Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth was a unique divine ability of the evil dragon race. It was used to digest the flesh of experts to quickly strengthen themselves. Evil Moon had not expected it to undergo such a huge change when Long Chen used it. It had actually formed an absolutely terrifying divine formation. Using it to just devour medicinal pills was an absolute waste, as it could be used to defeat enemies easily. Eat people. Long Chen immediately felt a wave of nausea, especially when he thought of the enemies he would devour. There would be old ones, fat ones, people who hadn't bathed in 800 years. Long Chen instantly made his decision. No, I won't learn it. Spare me. Long Chen shook his head like a rattle. He wouldn't do such a thing even if he was beaten to death. Evil Moon tried to convince him a bit more. Whatever he devoured into his stomach would be ground down by the formation and instantly absorbed. There wouldn't be any taste. Before Evil Moon even finished speaking, Long Chen vomited. Seeing that, Evil Moon kept its mouth shut and gave up on that thought. The strengthening of Long Chen's organs continued for a full day. Finally, the divine runes stopped shining, and his organs returned to their normal state. But he could sense the huge change. Just as Evil Moon had said. The strengthening of his organs had resulted in his power increasing once more. He, let's test the results. Long Chen took out a jug of wine with crushed medicinal pills mixed into it. He opened his mouth and gulped the wine down with the medicinal pills. Chapter 1534 Clouds in Trouble Translator Born to be because Long Chen wasn't wild. He couldn't just eat the pills dry. So he used the wine to wash them down. All you need to do is will it. 
and you can use your blood to activate the formation. However, the swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability of yours has differed greatly from my evil dragon races. You should test it out slowly, advised Evil Moon. According to the method Evil Moon had taught him, Long Chen tried activating the divine runes in his stomach. They lit up and began to revolve around his organs like stars. As they revolved, a huge formation formed. The medicinal pills he had devoured were crushed by the divine light and their energy was sent throughout his body. How fast! Long Chen was delighted. If it was before, he could only digest a hundred top-grade medicinal pills in one day. If he ate too many, he wouldn't be able to digest them, and their energy would just accumulate in his body and slowly be digested. But this time, all the medicinal pills were digested in half a breath's time. He gulped more and more pills down, finishing half a month's work in just a moment. I'm telling you, using this divine ability to digest just medicinal pills is a waste. You should consider my suggestion. I'm being serious. With the strength of the formation in your stomach, all you have to do is recondense each rune and let them reach maturity and I guarantee your devouring ability would be on the same level as the evil dragon race's innate devouring ability. You can just eat whoever refuses to submit. You won't even need to fight, said Evil Moon. Stop, stop, I can't handle it. Furthermore, I cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art. I walk the path of the hegemon, and I don't like cheap tricks. Don't bring this up again. Long Chen hastily shook his head, feeling like he might vomit again. This swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability was truly useful to him. There were mountains of medicinal pills in his primal chaos space right now thanks to Huo Long and the blazing dragon cauldron's work. Now, the pills poured into his stomach like a river and were instantly digested, their energy spreading through his body. Wait a sec. Long Chen suddenly noticed that this time, the medicinal energy was going to a different path. Before it would go through his four chi seas, but now they were going through his 108,000 stars first. Long Chen carefully examined the divine runes covering his organs. He was shocked to find that there were exactly 108,000 of them. They perfectly matched the 108,000 stars in his acupuncture points. What is this? Could it be that swallow the heavens, devour the earth had mutated because of the nine-star hegemon body art? If that was the case. Then just what huge origin did the nine-star hegemon body art have to have? Even the dark evil dragon race's divine ability was mutated because of it. Wave soared in Long Chen's heart. It took just three days of crazily devouring medicinal pills for him to consume all the medicinal pills in the primal chaos space. Finally, his cultivation base made another breakthrough. His four chi seas shook as his powerful aura sword. Evil Moon. This swallow the heavens. Devour the earth divine ability is really really amazing. Long Chen didn't even know what words he could use to praise it. In truth, you could make it even more amazing. Stop. Let's switch topics. Long Chen hastily flapped his hand. Evil Moon was still unwilling to give up with that idea. Then there's nothing to say. Send me out with the heaven flipping brick. I'll find a place to test its progress and see how much control it has now. Said Evil Moon. Long Chen released Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal. Evil Moon took the Heaven Flipping Seal and vanished from sight. Long Chen didn't know whether or not it was because Evil Moon was embarrassed about testing the Heaven Flipping Seal in front of him, but he didn't bother with them. Long Chen summoned the Blazing Dragon Cauldron and began to personally refine pills to increase his cultivation base. Although Huo Long and the Blazing Dragon Cauldron could refine top grade pills, Long Chen refined top-grade giant pills to increase his efficiency. In order to save time, before this, Long Chen would refine a few top-grade giant pills. The energy in just one giant pill was equivalent to dozens of the same pill at the same quality. When he was bored, he could just toss one into his mouth instead of constantly swallowing normal pills. However, now he could digest medicinal pills rapidly. It was just a pity that he no longer had the pills from Pill Valley that could increase cultivation base. He had consumed them all. He regretted not being strong enough at that time, wasting a large portion of their energy. If he had possessed this devouring ability back then, he would have reached the soul transformation realm from devouring those ancient pills. Then he wouldn't be chased down like a rabbit now. 
with Long Chen personally refining pills. He popped giant pills into his mouth as soon as they came out of the cauldron. Dense medicinal energy would spread throughout his body. One day after another passed, he refined and ate pills day and night. After half a month, he made another breakthrough, reaching the twelfth heaven stage of Jade Core. After another month, he suddenly felt his aura grow unstable again, and he hastily suppressed that energy. I've reached the peak of the twelfth heaven stage. As soon as I break through to the thirteenth heaven stage, it'll draw heavenly tribulation. Long Chen was absolutely delighted. Now, as long as he wished it, he could immediately call down his tribulation. He, tribulation. I'll need to find a place with good scenery and plenty of people for it. Just where should I go? Pill Valley? The Corrupt Path? The Ancient Races? The Blood Kill Hall? The Ancient Family Alliance? The Martial Heaven Alliance? Long Chen had a conflicted expression. The one thing he had absolute confidence in was his heavenly tribulation. Wherever he brought it down, well, he, the entire world would get lively. However, Long Chen also felt an indescribable fear. He didn't know whether it was because he had been running away from his enemies so much that it had caused him to lose confidence in himself, or whether his upcoming tribulation would be absolutely terrifying. But he could smell the scent of death. The Zhuangshan Tower had once told Long Chen that he had learned many things that he shouldn't have at his level. He had touched things related to gods and would very likely bring down divine lightning at his next tribulation. Any divine item would have to undergo tribulation once it was created to solidify its divine nature. The Zhuangshan Tower naturally knew how powerful divine lightning was, so it had given Long Chen a warning. Just as Long Chen was thinking about what place he should undergo his tribulation at, a jade plate on his waist lit up. Long Chen checked it quickly. This plate was the communication jade Jung Wenlong had given him. When he saw the curt message on it, his expression immediately changed. Cloud's in trouble. It was a curt message, but his heart clenched. Cloud had returned to its ancestral lands to receive the baptism of its ancestral blood. That was the only way for it to perfectly advance to the tenth rank. By this time, Cloud should have finished its baptism. He didn't know if Cloud had landed in someone else's hands, or whether or not it had died. Long Chen's expression was gloomy. He looked at this map and rushed toward the closest city. This time, Long Chen didn't use a flying boat. Instead, he sat on a large cyan brick. It was the Heaven Flipping Seal. Through Evil Moon's teachings, the Heaven Flipping Seal had learned how to use its power, at least on a very basic level. By having it carry him, he could also let the Heaven Flipping Seal gain more experience in controlling its power. Furthermore, it was a divine item. Its speed was dozens of times greater than a flying boat. He reached his target in just several breaths time. This was a medium-sized city. Long Chen rushed straight toward its auction house. Once he was there, he immediately showed the jade plate Jung Wenlong had given him. Someone immediately came to send him into a private room. Once he placed the jade plate onto a formation, the formation lit up, and an illusory image appeared before him. The illusory image was of a room, with Jung Wenlong standing there gravely. Through the formation, Jung Wenlong said, Cloud's been captured. Who did it? Demanded Long Chen coldly. The only thing that comforted him was that Jung Wenlong said that Cloud was captured, not dead. It was done by the Xuan beasts. Rumor is that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is a traitor of the Xuan beasts and have been hunted down by them the entire time. Just yesterday, news came that the Xuan beasts had captured one of their surviving members. I didn't pay much attention to that at the time, but then the situation changed. People are saying that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow is the one that's always with you. Cloud, said Jung Wenlong. He knew just how grave this matter was. The Xuan beasts, are they related to Pill Valley? Asked Long Chen. Although he was infuriated, he maintained his wits. Practically, all the continent's powers are related to Pill Valley. The Xuan beasts don't interfere in the outside world's matters, but they do pay attention to what happens. In particular, the ancient races are their descendants. The ancient races look down on humans and always express their loyalty to the Xuan beasts. As for you, You've repeatedly challenged the ancient races and killed their experts. The possibility exists that the ancient races would ask for help from the Xuan beasts. 
So there's no way to confirm whether the Xuan beasts have joined in because of Pill Valley or the ancient races, said Zheng Wenlong. That's fine. As long as they've done this, they're my enemies. I'm already surrounded by enemies, and I don't mind adding another. Have they revealed their plot? Asked Long Chen. You can look for yourself. They've already laid the trap and it's a seamless one. Zheng Wenlong bitterly smiled. He took out a photographic jade and activated it, revealing an image. Chapter 1535 Attacking the Soul Transformation Realm Translator Born to be when the photographic jade was activated, Long Chen saw an ancient city. In the middle of the city was a giant steel frame. At the top of the frame was a cut-off axe head. The axe head was as large as a mountain and emitted a cold, sharp light. This was a giant guillotine, and captured at the bottom of it, bound by countless chains that pierced through its body, was Cloud. The ground was dyed red with its blood. Cloud. Although Long Chen had prepared himself for this sight, his eyes instantly turned red, and killing intent filled the room. Long Chen clenched his teeth so hard that they creaked. Cloud was currently pierced through with hundreds of thick chains and bound to the guillotine. Its whole body was covered in blood. Its rainbow feathers were now dim, and its wings had even been severed. It lay there, unconscious. Hatred overflowed from Long Chen. Even after calculating things over and over again, he had still fallen for his enemy's scheming. They had actually captured Cloud as a hostage. Long Chen, I know you'll definitely see this sight. He, how is it? Are you angry? Standing on top of Cloud's head were three figures. They were Sha Guangyan, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang. The one speaking is Sha Guangyan. Although this was just a photographic jade, the three of them were looking right at him. Clearly, they had intentionally spread this photographic jade for him to see. Yes. I really am angry, Long Chen coldly replied, his voice full of killing intent. These people were too despicable. In truth, I really wish I could see your expression when you receive this photographic jade. I'm sure it'll be very marvelous. Long Chen, I heard you're very loyal to your friends. I wonder if that really is true? Now your houseput is in our hands. Don't worry, it hasn't died yet. Sha Guangyan kicked one of the chains beside him and its runes lit up. Cloud's body shuddered. Clearly, these chains were torture tools. He, sorry, in order to show you that it's still alive, I have to hurt it a bit. You don't mind, do you? Laughed Sha Guangyan with a fake apologetic appearance. Long Chen clenched his fists, wishing to charge right through this image and punch this loathsome face. I won't waste words. Long Chen. You've committed so many nefarious crimes that the entire Eastern Xuan region's junior generation has gathered for a dragon slaughtering convention. In the name of upholding justice and removing evil from this world, we will use your steed as a sacrificial offering. Using its blood, we will swear to kill you. If you really have gods, you can bring your dragon blood legion to fight against the Eastern Xuan region's top junior generation experts. Don't worry. In the Dragon Slaughtering Convention, Life Star experts are prohibited from interfering. You'll still have a slight chance of saving your companion. If you win, this cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow will be yours. Of course, if you don't dare to come, then there's nothing left to say. The Dragon Slaughtering Convention will take place next month on the 8th. The location will be the Grand Han Ancient Nation's capital. There are still 27 days from the time of this recording. I've given you enough time to prepare. Whether or not you want to come and save it is up to you. After saying that, Sha Guangyan smiled sinisterly and kicked one of the chains again. The image disappeared, revealing the grave-looking Zheng Wenlong. He had cut off the photographic jade. Is there another section where they tortured Cloud? Long Chen's voice was hoarse, and his gaze was as sharp as a blade. It was a bit frightening. Zheng Wenlong was silent. Long Chen nodded. Good. I always felt like I was good at courting death, but it seems they're not willing to concede defeat to me. I know what I have to do. This is a sure death trap, said Zheng Wenlong. I have no choice. Zheng Wenlong was silent for a moment. If you need any help, just ask. Long Chen's rage softened slightly. Clearly, Zheng Wenlong was willing to use the Huai insect's power to help him, but he shook his head. You're a businessman. It's not good for you to participate in this kind of struggle. You'd be ruining your own business. 
Just help me alert the heaven splitting battle sect to prepare to support me. Let's make this big. Long Chen left the Huaian auction house after that. He silently sat on the heaven flipping seal as he rushed off. Suddenly, he had a thought, and an emerald leaf appeared in his hand. The emerald leaf was the communication tool the spirit world's life god tree had given him. Mist flowed out of it, condensing into a figure. He, boss, how are things on your side? Why haven't you sent back the slightest news? The sister-in-laws, they're worried about you. The image revealed Guo Ran's wretched smile. Long Chen then also saw Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er. Long Chen, did something happen? Meng Chi was the first to sense something was wrong. Long Chen nodded. Major things have occurred in the eastern Xuan region. Long Chen gave a curt explanation of what had happened during this time. What the fuck? They really are courting death. They destroyed the Dao sect and dared to capture Cloud? Boss, let's gather right now and kill them all, shouted Guo Ran. Meng Qi's eyes were red. Cloud had been raised by her, and she had the closest connection to it. Long Chen waved his hand. I'm angrier than you are, but this situation is not so simple. The only good thing is that they are using Cloud as a hostage. So Cloud's life isn't in danger yet. How are things on your side? Have the weapons and armor been completed? Oh, what are your cultivation bases like? Long Chen suddenly realized there was a change in them. But because this was just an image, he couldn't sense their auras. So he couldn't be sure. Ten days ago, we went through our collective tribulation in the spirit world. Don't worry, under the life god tree's protection, we attacked the lightning tribulation and raised it to its strongest intensity, said Guo Ran. But Long Chen sensed that he was a bit guilty toward the end. Most likely, he had fainted midway and hadn't managed to complete the whole tribulation. By being in the spirit world, their lives were absolutely protected by the spirit trees. Long Chen trusted that Gu Yang had raised the tribulation's power to its peak. That was something he was confident in. Fine. Then you all should hurry to condense your Yuan spirits and stabilize your cultivation basis. Raise your combat power as high as possible. There will soon be a fierce battle. The Dragonblood Legion is going to challenge the Eastern Xuan region, said Long Chen. Boss, don't worry about it. We'll kill them all, said Guo Ran heroically. He was clearly very confident. Long Chen, be careful. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er sadly stared at Long Chen as the image faded. Long Chen took a deep breath and put away the leaf. Flying on the heaven flipping seal, Long Chen found an empty, lifeless place and put it away. Unleashing a furious roar, energy surged in his body. A pillar of light soared into the sky, and the clouds were blown away. The ground splintered as waves of energy surged out of Long Chen, crashing against the world. Rumbling came from his body. It was like a hibernating beast had woken and wanted to slaughter the heavens. Long Chen was attacking the next level of his cultivation base right here. He reached the 13th Havenstage of Jade Core, and in that instant, the world shuddered and the sky turned dark. A terrifying pressure filled the world. It became a dark world, filled with an air of destruction and annihilation. The world was so dark that the tribulation clouds couldn't be seen. The rumbling of lightning couldn't be heard. The world was pitch black and deathly silent. I'm not afraid of the dark. Long Chen sneered and reached out to summon Evil Moon. Fuck. If you want to die, don't pull me in. There's divine lightning condensing. It will lock onto me if I appear. Shouted Evil Moon, refusing to come out. It could see the strangeness of this tribulation. Long Chen. This is a tribulation of sure death. Now I understand what kind of existence you are. It's no wonder the heavenly deos reject you. The power of this lightning tribulation will make it so that the five-colored lightning tribulation you experienced before is nothing in comparison. Divine lightning exists to temper and baptize divine items or divine spirits. But your tribulation lightning is not here to temper you but purely kill you. Neither I nor the heaven flipping seal can help you. If we appear, the divine lightning will only grow more ferocious. It will become our tribulation, and you would definitely die. Don't worry, I have plenty of experience when it comes to this, said Long Chen. How could he not have experience? He had started going through tribulation ever since the blood condensation realm. There probably weren't many people in this world that could compare to him when it came to tribulation experience. 
Suddenly, a five-colored bolt of lightning appeared in the endless darkness, striking Long Chen. The very first attack was actually the strongest destructive five-colored lightning. Chapter 1536 Condensing a Yuan Spirit Translator Born to be the five-colored lightning crashed toward Long Chen. Following the first bolt, the dark world became bright once more. Countless streaks of lightning could be seen in the sky, and they began to fall one by one at Long Chen. The lightning was berserk and merciless, possessing a pure destructive will. Anyone else would have been killed by the first attack. However, Long Chen was fearless. Lai Long already possessed the power of five-colored lightning, so he had no fear of this lightning. He allowed it to strike his body. Then he calmly sat and formed hand seals. Spiritual strength surged within his body. The energy of his four Qi Cs gathered into his mind C. Once the energy from all five Cs gathered, huge waves exploded in his mind C. The spiritual yuan of his four Qi Cs broke through the restrictions of his mind C and merged with his spiritual strength. Before reaching the soul transformation realm, a cultivator's spiritual yuan and spiritual strength were completely separate. While fighting, they might be able to assist each other, but they definitely couldn't merge. Upon entering the soul transformation realm, things were different. Upon reaching this realm, they could merge and change. This was one of the largest mysteries of the cultivation world. The cultivation world's realms and levels were all left behind by their ancestors. Due to how long ago that era was, there was no way to find out the truth about it. The current cultivators were only following what the ancestors had left behind and didn't know why the cultivation realms were what they were. Everyone cultivated this way. First, there were the five Haoshan realms. This part was the most understandable, as it involved laying a foundation, qi condensation, blood condensation, tendon transformation, bone forging, and meridian opening. After reaching the Xianchen realm, there was no way for anyone to comprehend why there was foundation forging, jade core, soul transformation, life star, etc. They simply followed the teachings of their ancestors, generation after generation, obediently cultivating like this without understanding the profundities behind it. Long Chen was also doing the same. There was no way for him to know the mysteries behind why he had to condense a Yuan spirit. The fact that he had to condense one was simply foundational knowledge that everyone knew. As he sent the energy of his four Qi Cs into his mind C, he immediately felt like some kind of energy was being sucked out of his body and into his mind C. So the soul transformation realm involves merging a person's essence, Qi, and soul into the Yuan spirit. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. The so-called essence referred to the physical body. Qi referred to the spiritual Qi and spiritual Yuan. As for the soul, it simply referred to the soul, the spirit. All three had to be merged to create the Yuan spirit. As Long Chen sensed these three kinds of energy merging within his mind C, runes began to appear in it. These were his Yuan spirit primordial runes. They were the foundation for condensing his Yuan spirit. However, each spirit transformation expert would condense a different number of primordial runes. The greater a person's talent, the greater their spiritual strength, and the more Yuan spirit primordial runes they would condense, and the more runes they condensed, the stronger the Yuan spirit would be. According to the records of soul transformation experts, the lowest record was 360 of them, while the highest was 9999. The records of 9999 runes were all left behind by rank 9 celestials. As for Empyreans, they kept how many runes they condensed a secret, refusing to tell others. Rumor was that it related to the secrets of the heavenly deos, so they didn't say anything. Long Chen was also observing his runes carefully, wanting to see how many he would condense. In just a couple breaths time, over 3,000 of them had appeared. And as time passed, more and more of them condensed. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. 9,900, they've already broken past 10,000, Long Chen was shocked, in less than 10 breaths time, he had broken past 10,000, it had to be known that most soul transformation experts spent 6 hours condensing their Yuan spirit primordial runes, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, as more and more of them appeared, Evil Moon was at first calm, 
but when it reached the third hour and broke past three million, even Evil Moon was shocked. Long Chen, just what kind of cultivation technique do you use? The number of Yuan Spirit Primordial runes you've condensed in this short time is even greater than those Empyreans. The Empyreans it was referring to were Sha Guangyan, Peng Wanshang, and the others. It was able to calculate how many Yuan Spirit Primordial runes they had condensed based on the power of their Yuan Spirits. Liu Qingfeng had condensed around 3 million runes, while Long Chen had already reached that level. As for Sha Guangyan, Peng Wanshang, and Yi Qingkuang, they were more talented and had condensed around 5 million of them. This was the so-called dividing line that Liu Qingfeng had brought up between Empyreans and Rank 9 Celestials who had reached the Soul Transformation Realm. Only someone who had condensed 3 million primordial runes was capable of condensing a Yuan spirit that could fight along with the main body. As for Rank 9 Celestials, their Yuan spirits could at most help them use their weapons or leave them with some chance at surviving once their physical bodies were destroyed. More and more Yuan spirit primordial runes condensed. Their numbers increased faster and faster. 8 million, 10 million, 100 million. Long Chen, you're doomed. Do you realize how slow your cultivation speed will be after condensing this many Yuan spirit primordial runes? First of all, your 9 star hegemon body art cultivates a 100 times slower than other people. And you should know that in the soul transformation. Each increase in cultivation base involves increasing the power of the Yuan spirit. Those Empyreans you've encountered before, they condensed 3 to 5 million runes, while you have 100 million. Even if you were using the same cultivation technique system, if it took one year for them to increase one level, it would take you 20 to 30 years, said Evil Moon. What? No way. Long Chen suddenly felt a chill. If identical cultivation techniques would take him 20 to 30 times as long, then what about with the 9-star hegemon body art? The difficulty would be over a hundred times greater. His cultivation speed was at the bottom of the entire Dragonblood Legion. Wouldn't it take him a hundred years to progress as far as another person progressed in one year? Then what would be the point of having a powerful Yuan spirit? The main thing is that if it was just 100 million, then that would be one thing. But yours already passed 150 million. Sigh. I can probably only have a moment of silence for your sorrow. Sighed Evil Moon. Even it felt despair for Long Chen. Although it didn't comprehend the nine star hegemon body art, it was aware of Long Chen's abnormal difficulty in advancing levels. Originally, it was hoping for Long Chen to break through to the life star realm as fast as possible so that he could release its seal. But this made it give up hope. With its great experience, a few hundred or even a thousand years was nothing. If Long Chen just calmly cultivated, then even if he was slow, he would sooner or later break through to the life star realm. But right now, he was surrounded by enemies. Who would let him grow to that level? What the fuck? Two hundred millions? Fuck. Hurry up and stop. Howled Long Chen. He did his best to force the runes into condensing into his Yuan spirit. Two hundred million? That was 40 to 60 times the amount of a normal Empyrean. This was practically a death sentence. No matter how strong a Yuan spirit was, if his cultivation base didn't ever increase, what was the point? His opponents would quickly advance to the life star realm or even higher, while he was stuck at soul transformation. Wouldn't he simply be hunted down like a dog at that time? No, he probably wouldn't even have a chance to run. Long Chen did his best to condense them, but when he gathered the runes together, they were like sand. No matter how he pressed them, they would immediately scatter. He tried three times, failing each time. There was simply no way for him to control this. He could only watch as the number of his Yuan spirit primordial runes broke past 300 million. Long Chen almost despaired. If you have gods, just try breaking past 400 million, howled Long Chen. They really did have gods. They quickly broke past 400 million. If you have gods, try breaking past 500 millions. Very quickly, they passed 500 million. Long Chen became silent, no longer daring to shout. He almost felt like he had cursed himself by saying that, which was why they were still rapidly increasing. 600 million, 700 million, 800 million. But even with his mouth shut, 
his Yuan spirit primordial runes continued to crazily increase in number. Long Chen had already given up on trying to do anything. Evil Moon was also deathly silent. Time passed bit by bit. The lightning tribulation was still crazily attacking him, but he was numb to it. He silently stared at the sea of runes in his mind. See, fuck, who can say whether this is a blessing or a curse? Come, if you have the ability, just break past one billion. This time, Long Chen won. They really did break past one billion. They stopped at exactly one billion, 80 million runes. This time, without Long Chen even having to do anything, the runes all gathered together, forming one giant man. In his mind's eye, this figure was tens of thousands of meters tall. He had long flowing hair and black robes while possessing sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes. He looked exactly like Long Chen. This was his Yuan spirit. As soon as it condensed, a whirlpool appeared on Long Chen's forehead, and Thunder Force poured into his mind sea. The Thunder Force crazily attacked his giant Yuan spirit, and crackling sounds rang out as they struck it. The giant Yuan spirit absorbed their energy, slowly shrinking. It's tempering your Yuan spirit. Well, perhaps only such a terrifying Yuan spirit is capable of surviving this kind of tempering, said Evil Moon. As the five colored lightning poured into his mind sea, his Yuan spirit continued to shrink. But as it shrank, it grew more condensed, and Long Chen began to feel a connection to it. When it reached a size of 300 meters, it slowly opened its eyes. Its eyes shone brightly like golden lanterns. This is my Yuan spirit. Long Chen found that he could now control his Yuan spirit. This Yuan spirit was him, and he was the Yuan spirit. It was just their viewpoints that were different. The thunder force inside here is too weak. Come out and try it. A ray of light shot out of Long Chen's head, and a giant figure appeared before him. Chapter 1537 Divine Lightning Translator Born to be Long Chen summoned his Yuan spirit outside his body. The calm rain of lightning on the outside instantly became fierce and chaotic, attacking his Yuan spirit. An endless torrent of five colored lightning crashed against Long Chen's Yuan spirit. It focused on the Yuan spirit so much that it no longer cared much about Long Chen's true body. Long Chen looked at his Yuan spirit, while his Yuan spirit looked at him. The feeling was very strange. They were both Long Chen. It was like looking in a mirror. But there was also a different kind of feeling as well. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes, focusing on entering the view of his Yuan spirit. Controlling his Yuan spirit, he launched a powerful punch that shook the sky. Your Yuan spirit is shockingly powerful. There are both gains and losses I suppose. Even if your physical body died, your Yuan spirit would still possess great power, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. As the lightning attacked his Yuan spirit, his 108,000 Yuan spirit primordial runes absorbed their energy. They were like pieces of ore, while the thunder force was purifying them. Every single one of them was becoming purer and stronger. Boom. Suddenly, one huge figure after another flew out of the endless darkness. They all pounced on his Yuan spirit. These were five colored lightning beasts. Long Chen was already familiar with them. He had Lai Long come out to protect him while he focused on using his Yuan spirit to slay these lightning beasts. His Yuan spirit was a giant right now, and each punch of his blew apart a wave of the lightning beasts. How powerful. Long Chen was shocked that just the power of his Yuan spirit would possess such destructive force. It had to be known that before he had condensed a Yuan spirit, his spiritual strength was not able to condense physical attacks. The only thing he could attack with it was other people's souls. But now, he was unleashing physical attacks with it, and it felt the same as when he fought with his physical body. Split the heavens one, using his hand as a blade. Long Chen blew apart the lightning beasts. He was also able to use battle skills like this. Fool. Why are you wasting your precious soul energy? Your tribulation has only just started. Are you trying to kill yourself? Cursed Evil Moon. Your Yuan spirit is exhausting the soul energy in your mind see. Once that's exhausted, you're done for. The lightning tribulation of the soul transformation realm is targeting your Yuan spirit. And the strongest attacks come at the end. If you use up all your energy by then, you'll definitely die. Long Chen's heart shivered, and he recalled how his Yuan spirit was different from his main body. When his main body fought, 
it focused on the qi and essence of him. The Yuan spirit used energy from the qi, essence, and soul, but the proportions were different. The qi and essence were only 10%, while the remaining 90% of the energy came from the soul. That 10% of qi and essence was what allowed the Yuan spirit to unleash the true body's magical arts and battle skills. After testing that one attack and receiving Evil Moon's warning, Long Chen didn't continue wasting his spiritual strength. He simply used his Yuan spirit to attack normally. Lai Long was protecting his true body, while it had also summoned hundreds of split bodies to devour the lightning runes in the air. These runes came from the lightning beasts and were the best nourishment for it. As his Yuan spirit fought against the lightning beasts, he found that it was growing smaller, and more and more condensed. Its power was also increasing. However, he was still cautious. He didn't unleash any special techniques that wasted energy. He just smashed the lightning beasts with brute strength. Unlike last time, he didn't dare to strike the tribulation clouds. He just continued according to the pace of the tribulation. That would save him the most energy. After having gone through heavenly tribulation so many times, he had already figured out some of their rules. The main one was that despite how badly the tribulation wanted to kill him, its power was still limited. Furthermore, it had to go through a certain step-by-step -step procedure. The lightning was growing stronger, but its power was still well within the limits of Long Chen's power. As long as he exhausted all of its energy, the tribulation would end. In the past, Long Chen had been too fiery and had constantly provoked the tribulation, quickening its pace. That was very dangerous. It left him without time to breathe or recover. This time, he was obediently following the tribulation's tempo. It grew stronger bit by bit, and as Long Chen handled it, he also recovered all his energy, keeping himself in his peak condition. Since he wasn't provoking the tribulation, it was much gentler. After four hours, the lightning beasts faded, and human lightning figures appeared. Each of them held weapons as they attacked Long Chen. There was practically an endless tide of them, and they instantly enveloped Long Chen. The fists of Long Chen's Yuan spirit danced. What delighted Long Chen was that his Yuan spirit was now extremely solid. The attacks of the human-shaped lightning couldn't even injure it, although it would cause his physical body and soul to feel pain. After all, his Yuan spirit and his soul were intricately linked. However, most of his focus was now on his Yuan spirit. With Lai Long protecting his main body, he didn't need to worry about it. The human-shaped lightning was extremely powerful, but as Yuan spirit grew stronger and stronger as it fought them, it was now 15 meters tall, and each of its punches could blow them up. The human-shaped lightning also grew stronger and more berserk. Clearly, the lightning tribulation was also reaching a berserk state. The most difficult part was coming. Long Chen continued to fight stably. He did his best to maintain an equilibrium between the amount of energy he used and the amount of energy he recovered. The lightning incarnations grew more numerous and distinct. Their faces and robes became clearer. There were men and women, young and old. Their robes were strange and ancient. Their power caused the world to shake with each wave of their hands. Long Chen knew that these were the ancient heroic spirits, peerless experts who had also gone against the heavens and been exterminated under the lightning tribulation. Their techniques had all been imprinted on the heavens. Finally, Long Chen could no longer just fight with brute power. These ancient heroic spirits possessed both power and combat experience. They were no longer just charging at him. They were true experts. Although their moves were still stiff and inflexible, they were incredibly refined. Their magical arts were extremely powerful, and there were many of them. Whirlwind slash. A lightning blade appeared in the hands of Long Chen's Yuan spirit. He spun and a shockwave came from his lightning blade, slaughtering the ancient heroic spirits. He was no longer able to fight without any battle skills or magical arts. When their attacks landed on his Yuan spirit, they wouldn't cause any injuries, but they would cause a sharp pain in his true body's soul. As he cut down the ancient heroic spirits, their numbers began to dwindle. Watch out. The divine lightning is brewing, said Evil Moon. Suddenly, the remaining ancient heroic spirits vanished. Following that, this space shuddered violently. It felt like the weight of the world was on Long Chen's shoulders. The heavenly might focused on Long Chen. 
It was like a giant executioner was looking at its next target. In front of that heavenly might, anyone would feel minuscule. They would feel like there was no point in resisting. In front of the heavenly might, man could only submit. Idiot. Do you think I would submit to you? Long Chen sneered and stood straight. Raising his head, he looked into the endless darkness. There was a small ball of light brewing within the center of it. A white rune was currently growing. That rune suddenly shook, and a ray of white light shot at Long Chen. Long Chen felt space lock around him. Time was severed. There was no time to react at all before the white light struck his Yuan spirit. Boom. His Yuan spirit shuddered violently. It almost crumbled from this one attack. A-H-H Long Chen clutched his head and screamed. He felt like a million needles were stabbing his head, aggravating every inch of his nerves. That pain was irresistible. You have to hold on. This kind of divine lightning will only strike three times. As long as you can last that long, it'll end. Evil Moon's voice also contained some urgency now. It had also gone through divine tribulation, so it understood its rules. The white rune suddenly grew ten times larger. Like a strange star, it hung in the dark sky. Then another ray of white light struck at Long Chen. Once again, there was no chance at all for Long Chen's Yuan spirit to resist or dodge. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his Yuan spirit shrank until it was less than five feet tall. It was even smaller than his true body. The white rune grew larger once more. The world rumbled as a destructive air condensed. The scent of death was everywhere. Just as the light was about to shoot out once more, Long Chen suddenly raised his lightning blade and slashed it, unleashing his spiritual strength. The tribulation's attacks came too suddenly for him to wait for it. He had to attack first. If he still didn't do anything to block the third attack, he'd definitely die. The lightning blade struck the white rune. The lightning blade exploded, and blinding lightning filled the darkness. Haha, <laughs> success. Evil Moon was delighted. It was surprised that Long Chen could grasp the timing of the divine lightning and strike it at the perfect time. Before it could finish celebrating, the rune in the sky grew larger and brighter once more. The divine pressure increased. This world seemed to have become hell as a destructive will filled every inch of the land. How? How is this possible? cried Evil Moon. Chapter 1538 Sure Death Tribulation Divine Lightning Beast Translator Born to be that rune grew larger and brighter until it was blinding within the darkness. It was like a giant star was expanding until it was about to explode. Its fierce light was like shark blades piercing this space, and the divine pressure present would make any person feel despair. Within this world of darkness, there was nothing except for that apocalyptic light. The only thing here was death and destruction. It really didn't give you a chance of survival at all, muttered Evil Moon. Long Chen was panting for breath as he held his head. The fierce pain in it made him unable to think straight at the moment. Only after a few breaths time did he feel like he could think again. Waving his hand, he pulled his Yuan spirit into his mind see. In that final attack, he had used his spiritual strength to unleash the fifth form of split the heavens. In truth, the timing of his attack had been very lucky. If it had been too fast, it wouldn't have blocked the divine lightning's attack. If it had been too slow, he would have been struck first. Either way, he would have been doomed. Although he had managed to destroy the majority of the Divine Lightning's power with that attack, his Yuan spirit had still taken a large blow. It had rapidly shrunk on contact with the Divine Lightning, becoming only a foot tall. It was even more condensed and powerful now, but Long Chen had used up far too much spiritual strength with that attack. He couldn't unleash it a second time. The main thing was that he wasn't able to perfectly control his Yuan spirit at this point. At least 80% of his energy had been wasted during that attack. After all, a Yuan spirit was not the true body or a clone, as it was an entirely separate entity. Passing energy back and forth resulted in a portion of it being wasted. Long Chen felt regret for all the spiritual strength that had been wasted. As he put away his Yuan spirit, Lai Long roared. Just now. When Long Chen had attacked the Divine Lightning, it had carefully captured a few of the Divine Lightning's runes. However, those Divine runes were too tough, and no matter how it tried, it couldn't subdue them. It was like a mortal had swallowed chunks of iron. There was no way for it to digest them. Lai Long, give up. 
You can't digest that, so don't waste the effort. Lend your power to me, said Long Chen as he looked at the giant rune hanging in the air. Only then did Lai Long unwillingly spit out the divine lightning runes it had swallowed and fly back to Long Chen's arm. Those divine runes slowly faded back into heaven and earth, vanishing without a trace. Novaloon.com CM Divine Lightning was different from Tribulation Lightning. It contained a divine element to it. After receiving three of its attacks, Long Chen had some understanding of it. It was because of that understanding that he was feeling uneasy. The divine light in the sky suddenly came to a stop. The huge rune hung in the sky like a sun. Cracks began to appear on the rune, and Long Chen's nerves tensed. He summoned a powerful lightning blade to his hands and poured Lai Long's energy into it. Whether he lived or died would depend on this. The cracks on the rune spread. It was like a seal was breaking, and the energy from the other side was coming out. He had no idea what kind of existence was trying to break out of its seal. Boom. The giant rune exploded. A white light streaked toward Long Chen. It's here. Long Chen's heart shook. The attack he had been brewing this whole time was launched, and the lightning blade sliced through space. This attack he had been brewing this entire time slashed heavily onto the white light. An explosive sound rang out, and a blinding light made it so Long Chen couldn't see what happened. Boom. His lightning blade exploded, and he was sent flying back. His blood and flesh splattered all over the place. Long Chen was shocked. In that single exchange, his physical body had been stripped of a whole layer of skin and flesh. Blood covered his entire body now. The power of divine lightning is probably something only my Yuan spirit can resist. No matter how strong a physical body is, as long as it is mortal, it can't resist it. Long Chen's heart sank. The thing that had made him uneasy had finally occurred. This divine lightning possessed a strange kind of energy that only his Yuan spirit was barely capable of resisting. However, right now, his spiritual strength was exhausted. If he let his Yuan spirit block it again, it would be destroyed, and he would die with it. He could only use his physical body to block it, but this power couldn't be blocked by physical power. There was no way to resolve this situation. Having no other choice, he waved his hand, and another lightning blade appeared. The only reason his body hadn't been completely destroyed was because of Lai Long. Since Lai Long also came from Tribulation Lightning, although it was different from Divine Lightning, it was able to isolate a portion of its power. Lightning filled the sky, and Long Chen finally saw what had attacked him. It was an eight-winged divine lightning beast with a long tail. It looked like a divine phoenix. It was completely white, and its eyes were cold as it stared at Long Chen. Lightning runes were flashing in its eyes. It was holy and sacred like a perfect divine bird. But Long Chen only sensed death from it. Its eyes contained a merciless will of destruction. It existed to destroy. It spread its wings, and rain of white feathers shot at Long Chen. At the same time, it fell from the sky, its claws reaching toward him. Those claws looked powerful enough to tear heaven and earth apart. Wielding a lightning sphere in his left hand and a lightning blade in his right, he tossed the sphere into the air while he slashed the blade out. His blade met the phoenix's claw. Once more, his skin and flesh that had just recovered were blown away. This time, both of his arms broke. The phoenix's power was even greater than the beginning. In front of this divine lightning, Long Chen didn't have any ability to fight back. He had plenty of power and energy left, but none of it was useful against it. He was like a Herculean who didn't know how to swim and was tossed into a sea to drown. Its divine nature was too terrifying. This kind of energy wasn't something mere mortals could comprehend. It was something on the same level of existence as gods. Its attacks had clearly been as light as a feather, but they contained power that could destroy the very world. Evil Moon what do I have to do to subdue this damn bird after being repeatedly injured? Long Chen was relying entirely on the primal chaos space's healing to get by. But this was not a solution. Sooner or later, the primal chaos space would run out of life energy, and he would be dead. I don't have any solutions. This heavenly tribulation won't stop until it uses up all its energy. Do you not see the black holes in the places it destroyed? Those are the eyes of the heavens. If I came out to help you, I would immediately be seen. At that time, your tribulation would become my tribulation. In my current condition, there's no way I could pass. 
and you would be destroyed in an instant. There's nothing I can do, said Evil Moon helplessly. Even Evil Moon had no tricks. As for the heaven flipping seal, although it wanted to help him, it was completely held back by Evil Moon. If it tried to help, it would only make Long Chen die faster. Long Chen continued to fight. Split the heavens. Starfall. The Nirvana scripture. Raging flame prison. Double dragon destruction. All his moves were used, but they were unable to do anything to this divine phoenix. His attack seemed to have their power stripped away when they landed on the divine phoenix. Long Chen sensed that probably less than one ten thousandth of their power was actually striking the phoenix. This was divine power, a level that made man despair. Long Chen's attacks were completely ineffective, yet, the phoenix's attacks were effective. Each of its strikes blew away Long Chen's flesh, making him lose a huge amount of essence blood. Although the primal chaos space could heal him, it couldn't replenish his essence blood that quickly. Long Chen felt like he was going to go insane. Long Chen tried to use his Yuan spirit to launch a sneak attack. Unfortunately, as soon as his Yuan spirit appeared, the Divine Phoenix turned its attention to it. A ray of light shot out of its eyes, striking his Yuan spirit before he could pull it back. His Yuan spirit almost crumbled, and he clutched his head in pain. He was almost torn in two by the Phoenix's claws. After that, he no longer dared to use his Yuan spirit. After all, his control of his Yuan spirit wasn't perfect yet. If he failed again, he might really die. Long Chen was still struggling bitterly, stalling for time. He had no way to handle this divine phoenix as it had no weak points. Even Evil Moon had said that the only option was to exhaust all its energy. However, Long Chen quickly realized just how childish this thinking was. This divine phoenix's power seemed to be limitless. Even if he had ten times the spiritual yuan, he wouldn't be able to exhaust it. Fuck. I'll risk it. This is the only chance. Long Chen sensed his remaining spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. A completely brazen and crazy thought appeared in his mind. Long Chen's yuan spirit flew out once more. It instantly transformed to become 30,000 meters tall and it devoured the Divine Phoenix in one gulp. Chapter 1539 Power of a Mutated Divine Ability Translator Born to be your crazy, Evil Moon let out a shocked cry. Long Chen had actually used his Yuan spirit to swallow this Divine Lightning Phoenix beast. All the Phoenix had to do was explode, and his Yuan spirit would be annihilated. This was no different than courting death. Long Chen's Yuan spirit had just swallowed the phoenix when it shrank back down and transformed into a ray of light that was devoured by Long Chen's true body. It happened so quickly that the phoenix couldn't even react before being swallowed into Long Chen's stomach. An explosive sound came from it. Although Long Chen had his Yuan spirit spit out the phoenix fast enough, it still received a heavy impact and almost crumbled. It instinctively returned to his mind C. The intense pain in his mind almost made him faint. So he's trying to use this move. Evil Moon was completely shocked. The phoenix was now in Long Chen's stomach. Since his stomach had been changed by the swallow the heavens. Devour the earth divine ability. There was now a special space inside that could store a huge mountain. There was plenty of space for the phoenix. Long Chen was in such pain that he was clutching his head and couldn't focus. But swallow the heavens. Devour the Earth automatically activated 108,000 runes began to shine, and divine light flowed out of them, binding the phoenix. However, the phoenix's wings flapped violently, destroying the divine light. In comparison to the phoenix's power, the power of swallow the heavens, devour the Earth was like a spider web. It was unable to bind this powerful existence. The phoenix let out a furious roar, and its lightning runes lit up. An aura of annihilation was released. Not good. Evil Moon let out a startled cry. The phoenix was about to explode. It wasn't even going to give Long Chen a chance to spit it out. Just at this moment, the 108,000 runes lit up again, and streaks of divine light intertwined in the air, forming a net that bound the phoenix. Its power was ten times greater than before, preventing the explosion. Evil Moon was startled and it saw that Long Chen had recovered from the pain and was forming hand seals. The power of his 108,000 stars was pouring into the runes, binding the phoenix. So he still had this move left. 
the divine light bound the phoenix tightly, but it continued to struggle. Long Chen's body was constantly cracking, looking like it might crumble at any moment. The two of them were even as they tried to defeat the other. Long Chen, don't fight like this. Start extracting a portion of its energy and release it back into the outside world. Once its divine energy is stripped from its main body, it will immediately vanish. It will quickly weaken, reminded Evil Moon. However, Long Chen acted like he didn't hear Evil Moon. He continued to suppress the phoenix with all his power. What the fuck? Don't tell me you're really planning on devouring it. With Evil Moon's understanding of Long Chen, it seemed he really would do something as crazy as this. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood, and the space between his eyebrows split open. His physical body had been pushed to its limit. This phoenix was too terrifying. I refuse to believe I can't suppress you, roared Long Chen. Light exploded from his body, in particular his hands, feet, and head. His Feng Fu, Alif, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate stars were unleashing all their power. His 108,000 stars, his Qi Cs, all his energy was gathered. The divine runes brightened once more unleashing a blinding light that wrapped around the phoenix like a giant cocoon. The huge cocoon shook violently as the phoenix continued to struggle, but its struggling slowly weakened until it became still. You succeeded Evil Moon couldn't believe that Long Chen had really sealed the divine lightning. Divine lightning possessed a divine nature, but Long Chen had actually used mortal energy to subdue it. That was simply against the law of the heavens. However, he had done it. Come out and fight me again. I dare you to burn yourself again. Long Chen raised his head and roared at the sky. His whole body was covered in blood, and he seemed insane. After shouting just a bit, he collapsed on the ground. He had gone far past his limit. When he woke up, pain racked his body, and he felt like millions of hedgehogs were running around inside his head. I, Evil Moon, have never admired anyone, but when it comes to craziness, Long Chen, you are the first existence I admire, said Evil Moon. Long Chen bitterly smiled and shook his head. It's not that I want to be crazy but that I have no choice. You don't know just how tough my path was. Based on my experience, I can't give up any chance to increase my trump cards. Each trump card will affect whether or not I can survive next time. This time, I have to thank you. Without your swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability. I would have definitely died. Long Chen was really grateful to Evil Moon. This time, his tribulation had been one of sure death. There should have been no way for him to survive. The heavens had been set on ending him here. There was no way his Yuan spirit would have been able to defeat the Divine Lightning Phoenix at the end. With his tribulation targeting his Yuan spirit, he couldn't win with it. There's no need to thank me. The divine abilities of the evil dragon race might be powerful but they aren't so powerful as to be able to devour divine lightning. This is because of your nine-star hegemon body art. I never expected my evil dragon race's divine ability to undergo such a mutation. It seems the origins of your nine-star hegemon body art aren't simple, said Evil Moon. Normally, the only reason why a technique would ever change was because the user cultivated another technique that was much, much greater than the former. It was like a drop of fresh water landing in the sea. It would instantly transform because the difference in power was incredibly great. Noveloon.com Well, no matter how you put it, without your divine ability, I'd have definitely died. Ah, whatever. I'll just remember this favor. Long Chen didn't waste any words. When it came to some things, remembering them in your heart was enough. Saying them with your mouth would make them meaningless. Long Chen slowly sat up. He felt like his whole skeleton was about to crumble. The intense pain was like needles stabbing every inch of him. Why is it so painful? And the injuries still haven't healed. Long Chen looked at his bloody body. There were many places where his bones were exposed. It seemed his body's natural regeneration had lost its effect. Painful? You should be thankful. Your injuries have the leftover energy of the divine lightning on them. Your body is strengthening once more. However. Your injuries will need some time to fully recover. The destructive will of divine lightning isn't so easy to erase. But in any case, you managed to profit from your tribulation. Of course, the only reason you managed to profit is because you're still alive. 
said Evil Moon. This tribulation had been too dangerous. On the other hand, Long Chen was already used to it. He had brushed against the line between life and death countless times, and his will was incomparably strong. That made it so every time he brushed against death, he would be able to maintain a calm heart. The more people panicked in the face of death, the more they would make mistakes and die. Despite the pain racking his body, he did his best to focus. He began circulating the nine-star hegemon body art. His 108,000 stars activated, and the life energy of the primal chaos space slowly circulated. While resisting the divine phoenix, Long Chen had extracted all the primal chaos space's life energy midway. Now he needed to hurry and recover. As the nine-star hegemon body art circulated, his injuries slowly healed. Although the speed wasn't as fast as before, at the very least, it was reducing the pain. In order to seal the Divine Phoenix, his five stars had lost a great deal of energy. It could be said that his core energy had been gravely harmed this time. But when he looked at the cocoon with the Divine Phoenix inside, he felt that it had all been worth it. Lai Long had already summoned eight split bodies that were coiled around it. Right now, it was unable to absorb its energy. There was a fundamental difference between their energies. However, Lai Long was clever and didn't absorb it right now. It had its eight split bodies sense the divine lightning's power, letting it transform the eight split bodies. It was like it had placed eight eggs in another creature's nest. Once the incubation was complete, it would draw them back, and the eight of them would be infected by the aura of divine lightning. Then it would be able to slowly transform its own energy into the same divine lightning energy. Of course, this was an extremely slow process. It wasn't as fast as devouring it directly. However, there was no other option. A day later, Long Chen had stopped the bleeding, and he wrapped his injuries. The power of the divine lightning inhibited his regeneration ability. He could only handle it like this, compared to his external injuries. His internal injuries were worse off. His Yuan spirit had almost crumbled in that last attack and was recovering with the help of his spiritual strength. However, his spiritual strength had also been damaged during the fight. With that being said, the injuries of the soul were the slowest to heal. Fortunately, he still had a few top-grade giant pills from Pill Valley that could nourish the soul. He had recovered to the point that his spiritual injuries wouldn't gravely affect his combat power. Tidying himself up, Long Chen took out a blood-colored jade plate. There was a single rune on it that looked like a drop of fresh blood. It's time to harvest the seed I planted back then. I should still have enough time. Looking at the jade plate, Long Chen smiled. Chapter 1540 Slaughtering his way into the corrupt path translator. Born to be space shook. Long Chen's figure appeared in a gloomy world. He looked around to appraise this world. Smiling. So the corrupt path hides itself within minor worlds. Those strongholds in the outside world are just to deceive others. If it weren't for Menki's blood tracing soul jade, I really wouldn't have been able to find them, muttered Long Chen to himself as he looked at the jade plate in his hand. This blood tracing soul jade was something Menqi had made for him. The blood it was tracing was not Menki's but Ji Yui Yan's. Back in the spirit world, Ji Yui Yan had used the lives of the spirit warriors against Long Chen, and Long Chen had acted like he was caught off guard and unable to stop himself in time resulting in his sword piercing Ji Yui Yan's head. Without Ji Yui Yan being aware of it, Long Chen had extracted a drop of the latter's purest essence blood. He had then given this essence blood to Meng Qi who then created the blood tracing soul jade. This jade was extremely magical and could sense its target's position from a great distance. Previously, Long Chen had used this jade to find Ji Yui Yan's sneak attack and sent the spirit warriors to lay down a trap annihilating the sneak attackers and leaving only Ji Yui Yan alive. In truth, Long Chen hadn't had many plans for him at that time. He had simply felt having such a card up his sleeves might be useful in the future. Now, he had tracked Ji Yui Yan to a place. However, he had ended up roaming around for a long time without being able to find him. In the end, he had asked Devil Moon what was going on. Only then had he learned that the blood tracing soul jade had accurately tracked him. It was just that Ji Yui Yan was not in this world but a minor world on a parallel plane to this place. Normally, if one wished to enter a minor world, 
It required knowing where the entrance to the minor world was. Long Chen didn't have that patience. So he had Evil Moon directly cut through space and enter the minor world. He had heard that life star experts condensed their own astral spaces. As their cultivation bases grew, their astral space grew as well. Once it reached a certain realm, it could be used to create a minor world. Such a minor world could only remain hidden within the thousand major worlds. It was unable to merge with the cosmos. Otherwise, it would crumble from the pressure of the major worlds. To put it in a simpler way, the so-called minor worlds were like life rings attached to major worlds. What was different from life rings was that minor worlds were connected to the major world, and the major world's laws would pervade the minor world. That was what allowed humans to live and cultivate inside. Now, Long Chen had charged into one of the corrupt path secret minor worlds. Once he was inside, he could clearly sense a dark and cold aura present in the air. There was no sun, no moon, and no stars. The sky was dusky. It was unclear whether it was day or night. The place he was currently in was an unremarkable mountain village with just a few dozen families. He saw a few children playing around and people working on the farms. It was a peaceful scene that wasn't much different from the outside world. The only difference was that at the center of the village was a stone statue. The statue was pitch black and emitting an evil aura. These villagers all had to put down their farming tools and kowtow toward the statue whenever they passed it. He heard them pray to it devoutly. As Long Chen sped through the minor world, he saw more and more villages, and they were the same as the one he had seen before. They looked peaceful and worshipped the same statue. It wasn't as dark and bloody as he had imagined. Long Chen followed the direction of the blood-tracing soul jade. Two huge mountains quickly appeared ahead, forming a natural gate. There was also a man-made gate at the bottom, with tens of thousands of people gathered there. It seemed that there was some kind of gathering. Long Chen hesitated. He decided to stealthily enter the crowd, flowing forward with them. When he reached the gate, he realized that a sect was accepting disciples. There were over ten soul transformation corrupt experts staring coldly at the people before them. The majority of these people were young Xi'anshan realm disciples. All of them had expressions of despair, and some were even quivering. Suddenly, one of the disciples escaped from the crowd and flew away. One of the soul transformation experts snorted, and a withered claw flew out, catching that disciple and dragging him back. HMPH, those who are disloyal to the corrupt god will get a hundred years of having their soul refined as a punishment. The soul transformation expert crushed that person's body and extracted his soul from his head. Each person had a soul, but the strength of the soul varied by person. The corrupt expert took out a lantern and tossed that person's soul inside. A sound like a water drop landing on smoldering iron rang out. Following that sound, a terrified and pained spiritual fluctuation spread. Everyone felt the pain within that spiritual fluctuation and turned pale. Remember, everything you have was bestowed to you by the corrupt god, including your souls and bodies. When the corrupt god needs you, you need to offer yourselves without hesitation. Furthermore, with the corrupt god's blessing, you won't die. The death that you see is just a false appearance. Your physical bodies will die, but your souls will return to the embrace of the corrupt god. You will enter reincarnation and reappear in this world. You will never die, but those disloyal to the corrupt god will endure the pain of having their soul refined for a hundred years. Once the hundred years are over, their soul will dissipate and vanish forever. That is true death. The corrupt expert's gaze was as sharp as a blade as it swept across these disciples. Long Chen sneered. This was a purely evil ideology. Even if their lives were bestowed to them by the corrupt god, could a person's life be taken just like that? Could a parent just randomly kill their children? All things were born of heaven and earth. To be born. To grow old. To get sick. To die. This was all natural. But it was completely unnatural to strip away other people's lives without restraint. Long Chen quickly reached the gate as he followed the crowd. There was an image of the corrupt god painted onto the gate. The painting was very lifelike. He saw a man standing in the sky, his hands wielding two blades. He had two horns, and his eyes emitted a blood red light. Behind him was stifling darkness. In Long Chen's eyes, he didn't look like a god but a devil. Each disciple would cross their arms before the statue and mutter something. 
It was probably some kind of eulogy. Once he was closer, he finally heard a disciple say, Great corrupt God, please accept your servant's gratitude. Thank you for bestowing us with heaven and earth, with this world. Because of your greatness, that person let out a long spiel that gave Long Chen a chill. It was like everything in this world had been created by this corrupt God. Furthermore, it seemed like anyone who didn't believe in the corrupt God were traitors. It was quickly Long Chen's turn. He crossed his arms and softly muttered, All you are is an idiot. Since you want praise, I'll help you out. The only reason you were born was because your parents were indecent Long Chen muttered quickly, and because there were too many people muttering at the same time. The corrupt elders didn't notice what he was saying. He muddled his way in just like that. Once he was past the gate, he quickly rushed forward and spread his divine sense to see if a certain person was present. Are you courting death? If you want to die, there's no need to be in a rush. Go line up at the back. While Long Chen rushed forward, a Jade Core disciple suddenly sent a palm toward him, wanting to teach him a lesson for breaking the rules. He, Len Yuian's not here, then I can fight freely. That disciple that had attacked him suddenly exploded, resulting in startled cries. The only reason Long Chen had snuck his way inside was because of the protective formation blocking his divine sense. He was afraid this was Len Yuian's sect, and he didn't want to encounter her here. Although Len Yuian had said that she wouldn't be enemies with him any longer, it was a bit different now that he was the one who had charged into her home territory. That wasn't Len Yuian being enemies with him. It was him being enemies with her. Now that he didn't find her aura, he no longer cared about being sneaky and directly killed that person. He rushed forward. Who dares? A corrupt elder had just appeared in front of Long Chen when he exploded. His Yuan spirit killed. Long Chen pulled off his hood, revealing his true face. He sneered. What? Do you not recognize your old friend? Long. Long Chen. Startled and terrified cries rang out. If you don't want to die, then scram. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon. His target was the huge statue in front of him. The huge saber image slashed right onto the statue. Divine light shone from the statue, actually knocking Long Chen away. Long Chen cursed inside. In his injured state, he couldn't use his full power. He wasn't even able to destroy the statue with one attack. That statue had only cracked in one spot. Long Chen. You dare to barge into my corrupt path? Die. Suddenly, a life star expert wielding a blood-colored saber attacked Long Chen. His weapon's runes lit up, and an evil aura exploded. It was actually a divine item. Boom. Long Chen hastily used Evil Moon to block. An explosive sound rang out as Long Chen was once more sent flying, his arms stinging. Are you a pig? With your current injured state. You can't even bring out a tenth of the power of your physical body. What are you doing competing in brute strength? You're a soul transformation expert now. Evil Moon's cursing rang out in Long Chen's head. 